Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to the very first session of the Band of Bravos, a new uh, online streaming uh, uh, adventure from us here at Paizo. Uh, hi, I am your host and GM for this adventure, Jason Bullman. I'm the director of game design at Paizo. And uh, before we get started here today, what I'd like to do is uh, toss it around the table and let uh, all of my players introduce, the, introduce themselves and what they do at Paizo. Take hey. it away. Hey everyone, this is James Jacobs. I'm the creative director for Pathfinder and uh, I'm hopefully going to be the last person that Jason kills in this game, which will be nope. a nice change. No promises. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, keep moving. Hey guys, I'm Marissa. I am Paizo's web content manager and UI designer. <laughs> Uh, those aesthetical roles that you've been seeing updating on the website. Hi, that's me. That's what I've been doing the last couple of months. Awesome. Hi, I'm Jason Keeley, a uh, developer at Starfinder. Uh, I've developed at Paizo, working mainly on Starfinder and uh, the, the Adventure Pass, and I'll probably be the first character to die. Hi, I'm Peyton Smith. I'm the social media producer, and I'm playing Lauren Barnes, because you can kind of see our characters down below. And uh, I'm super excited to basically finally play some Pathfinder 2nd Edition with Jason. And uh, further on with that, we also have several things that you guys in chat can help us out with. That uh, we also have a system set up, similar if you saw with Jason running Oblivion Oath and stuff, of buying people hero points and stuff. Currently, we have it to where the channel point system, to where basically the more you watch, and even if you're subscribed and stuff like that, you even get even more points just for watching to where you can help contribute those points to basically give us hero points whenever we need them. You can redeem those points. Be sure to do a hashtag, a hashtag with the character's name on it, just to be sure to differentiate which ones you're giving them to. Alternatively, you can also award Jason one ruin point or one uh, evil game master point so he can hopefully kill us all. Because, Jason, you don't kill characters, right? <clears throat> no. No, that's that a different game master. Yeah, that's a Name completely, Jason. yeah, completely <laughs> different Jason. That, that's a uh, different guy. Yeah, yeah, completely different one. Well, we do have another yeah. Jason though. Could it be you, Keely? Do you kill characters? Never, never, Very never good. at all. So, with that, uh, that Mr. Bowman, what are we doing today? All right. So, uh, is is everyone uh, ready to play? You all have characters built. You all, uh, yeah. You all ready? Yes. I mean, yes. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Great. All right. I pre-rolled a bunch of twenties. Oh, you pre-rolled them. Great. Well, we'll just yeah. set those aside. Yeah. His ability scores them. are right. nothing but twenty. <laughs> and one short thing as well, we do apologize that we don't have webcams and stuff like that. Uh, not everyone has a super awesome webcam setup and everything else, but hopefully in the future, the more and more you guys come around and stuff like that, we can all get nice fancy webcams. You can all see our lovely faces and get to uh, talk to you all at the same time. So with that, Jason, I think we're ready to play. The curtain slowly rises to thunderous applause as the band of Bravos take center stage in the court of King Bright Crown. Two weeks ago, your group received an a formal invite to come and work for the upstart Goblin King. Word has it that he is, the, he is a new leader here in the River Kingdoms, and when you first arrived in his lands, you learned just how true that was. Barely more than a dozen miles wide, this fledgling kingdom has no more than a few hundred subjects, fully half of which appear to be employed by the king himself. And tonight, it appears that almost the entire kingdom is here to see you perform. King Brightcrown himself is in the first row, eagerly watching the start of your performance. So who takes stage first? Uh, that will be Shenson. I kind of just do a couple of cartwheels out onto the stage and then land with a flourish and uh, cry out, welcome, welcome one and all. I hope you're ready to see lots of the fiery explosions, dragon slaying and mayhem. I guarantee you at least six burns by the end of this show. And and what does uh, Shenson look like, James? Uh, Shenson's a half elf with silver hair uh, carrying around a scimitar um wearing uh some fancy looking bright colors reds and oranges and blues and stuff like that so it looks like a fire burning on a lovely summer morning fantastic oh there's there's a whip too i snapped that around a little bit 
Uh, at that, the Goblin King is clapping <laughs> excitedly. His crown, Excellent. with each clap, gets a little bit more lopsided, and there's a servant behind him that reaches forward and just kind of straightens it. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly way too big for him. <laughs> oh, but he's got like he's got the standard like wide football goblin shaped head, right? Yes, but it, it it the crown isn't football shaped. It's oh. round, so oh, it kind of goblin keeps issues forward and back. <laughs> All right, so who takes stage uh, after Shenzhen? I kind of point. Will... Go ahead, go ahead. You do. Yep. No, no, this is, if you would like to go, go ahead. Cool. Fine. Then I, I immediately come out like blasting <laughs> lightning from my hand. And just go. This is pretty much also assisting uh, Shenzhen's entrance with as much magic as possible. Just like to do press the dissertation to basically go like making sparks and fireworks fly, making it like a grand display. As I'm also like running behind Shenzhen, like pretty much awkwardly as a wizard, going, Don't worry, I got you. And I'm just <laughs> shooting magic behind him <laughs> as much as I can. I'll just then, shake my head in frustration that you jumping the gun and coming out before you were supposed to. It's like, it's, I'm still an amateur. I was recently hired into our troop. Mm hmm. So, uh, <laughs> so to be clear, you are only a first level, uh, wizard. <laughs> no, yes. Ignore all the things I said. I just cast shocking graphs over and over. <laughs> They're mostly Maybe little sparks. <laughs> But that said, the crowd, which I should note is mostly like peasant humans, um, is tremendously thrilled by this display. There's they're clapping, they're cheering, they're very happy to uh, to see a display of magic uh, on stage. The king himself, uh, when he sees the sparks fly, is like <gasps> he's super happy. He looks uh, like he genuinely like. He feels, uh, you can tell that he, he looks like uh, he, he's taking full responsibility for this. He keeps looking behind his shoulders at the uh, at the folk and like, yeah, see? <laughs> Who takes uh, stage next? I will, I will dust myself off a little bit from where I was brushed aside, and I'll, I'll fix myself up a little bit, and I'll use prestidigitation to blast the curtains open over the audience as I come and make my way to the stage. My steps are a little bit longer to try to meet everybody else's steps, so will I come up and stand between the two slightly taller beats? All right. Uh, yeah, the, the curtains kind of flutter out uh, with your with your wind, uh, and uh, uh, the the crowd uh, kind of you hear kind of a woo um, as uh, as you take the stage. What does uh, what does your character look like? Ilana is wearing dark blues and grays, almost so you can't see her in the shadows of the stage. But when she steps under the lights, you see her jewelry glistening. She's much shorter than everybody else, at least a good foot shorter than Lorne. And so she <laughs> she does as much as she can to kind of be seen amongst everybody else who towers over her. Awesome. Awesome. And our last performer to take the stage. There is a, a, a beat as if uh, there uh, as if the, the person behind this, the curtain is, is waiting a moment for the for the crowd to die down to make the grandest entrance possible. And then this majestic, stately, bird-headed human sort of uh, tumbles his way onto the stage, and he is juggling several knives, just sort of tossing them up into the air. Um, and then with it, with it, with a final flourish, he catches the last one in his beak and gives a, a wide, uh, wide bow, throwing his, his cloak, uh, as, his multicolored cloak, as far as he can. You know, uh, uh, as much as I enjoy the embellishment there, I, I, I think I'm going to need to call for an acrobatics uh, skill check to see uh, how well this uh, carries out. Oh, so, uh, you got it. Yeah. No, no, this is where Jason kills us all. He's going to break his legs. <laughs> First roll, knife in the head, that's it. Wait. Okay. I was waiting for it to be a one. That would have been perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that's a 17 total. A, a seventeen, yeah, you managed to pull it off. It it wasn't it wasn't the most uh, flourish uh, that you've ever done, like where it spun and caught in the light. But you did manage to catch it in the beak, perhaps not quite square. It's a little off, but uh, the crowd seems to love it. The, the Goblin King seems super thrilled by it. And uh, uh, now that all four of you are uh, on stage, uh, the uh, the King, and you notice that he has a, a Goblin Lady 
sitting next to him. Uh, she is in a very fancy uh, gown, and she is looking on in, in rapt uh, attention as the king uh, uh, is clapping, looking very excited to uh, see the start of the performance. And uh, the, the crowd hushes, and uh, what do you do? So I'll step back up to the front of the crowd, delighted that I didn't have to make my acrobatics check to do my backflips onto the stage. Um, I missed that, and, James. <laughs> uh, I thought you were just being like a Tengu racist or something like that. But that's oh, okay. well, yeah. It's... Uh, anyway, so I'll step up to the front of the stage and I'll look out over the audience and I'll get all kind of spooky looking and then say, how many of you have seen a dragon? And I'll wait to see if anyone raises their hands. Uh, the king does. And then when he sees that everyone's staring at him, he kind of puts his hand back down. <laughs> it doesn't matter if no one here has seen a dragon because we brought one tonight and we're going to show you how a group of powerful heroes steps in to slay the dragon and save the king. So he then uh, I'll look over to my shoulder and kind of like nudge my head, like, got the dragon going, get the dragon going. Then I'll kind of step aside and kind of pretend like we got it all under control. Yeah, I go over to a lot of Thistlefoot and be like, "You have, you have the, you have the magic to do the dragon effect, right? Right? You got that ready, right?" I got it. I got it. I got it. I got okay. it right. Right? Okay. I'll help Are you out ready? with it. All right, ready? I'm ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so I step back into the shadows and I kind of hide myself a little bit and I can't cast dancing lights, create <laughs> almost bright lights amongst the stage. All right. And I and so, I uh, sorry. And I also want to assist her by basically having like a bunch of like powder or something, or like chalk or like saw salt or whatever, oh, yeah. and basically cast light on it, so all of them will kind of have light onto it. So as she does dancing, likes to form like a dragon star thing. I like whoosh, I like throw it upward, so all the dancing sawdust basically looks like the dragon like opens its mouth and whoosh, like like kind of fiery spouts come out of its mouth. All right. Uh, can Alana give me an Arcana skill check? Let's just see how well uh, you can manipulate these lights and have them dance through the air like a dragon. Oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> uh, uh, All right. <laughs> with my, does my display, can I save it? Can I save it with my Arcana uh check? Uh, d uh, well, you were, y yeah, sure. Why don't you, uh, why don't you, uh, give me an arcana check as well? Well, bam! That's a, the, uh, mm, ah, mm, ah, hero pointed or no? Mm, hmm. Oh, you know what? That's right. Alana, you're playing, a, you're a druid, right? I am a druid. Yeah, sorry. You shouldn't make an arcana check. You should make a nature check to control your magic, not arcana. Of course, that's why that was bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. All right, all right. You're trying Yeah. You got, there, you oh, so there you go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, thanks, chat. Uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. So uh, your uh, your uh, your magic uh, goes dancing around the stage, much to the delight of the uh, of the crowd. Uh, Lauren, your your light uh, kind of goes a little off course, but it 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 plays it plays along well enough. Yeah, it works uh, all right. And, yeah. Uh, so they've uh, they've created this uh, glowing uh, dragon. What what happens next? I look. I. Hmm. I'm gonna actually. Shadows, okay. I was gonna say from the shadows, I'm gonna use my hands and make roughly the hand puppet shape of a dragon, so we can have the giant shadow dragon against the backdrop, leaning over our heroes on the stage. Do you have the perform skill? Hi. <laughs> have a very small performance skill. Well, why don't you go ahead and give that a roll for your shadow puppet dragon? <laughs> yeah, not so bad, not bad. That's a that's a perfectly reasonable kind of like <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going I'm to step up again and say and here's the dragon. Do we have any swashbuckling peck-faced beaky heroes ready to <laughs> step in and save us? And I'll snap my whip a little bit, trying to like pretend like I'm trying to cow the dragon before the hero arrives to peck it to death. Hark! It is I, Thor, Thork Thunderbird. Uh, and uh, I, I will also give a little bit of an electrical arc from my from my from my hands to uh, to emphasize my name. And right. I am here to slay this dragon. <laughs> 
And okay. I will uh, have my dagger and my buckler out and uh, do a little, uh, basically, uh, mock battle with the shadow dragon. All right. Uh, you can either give me a performance check or uh, an attack roll, whichever one you prefer. Oh, okay. I'll do this attack roll. It's a Ooh, really good, very that's, nice. It's a really good yeah, roll. You, uh, <laughs> your beak darts out right into the center, or your dagger darts out right into the center of the dragon, and with a poof. Uh, it is it is slain. The motes of light falling to the uh, floor. The crowd is roaring in applause. They are they are truly amazed by your by your performance. Uh, and uh, the curtain slowly drops at the end of Act One. So the rest of the evening goes uh, off uh, much like uh, your other performances. Uh, you're, you, as a group of, of traveling performers, have been doing this now for about a year, uh, traveling around the River Kingdoms, uh, doing performances for local lords, ladies, and uh, in various taverns around, telling tales of your brave adventure and uh, uh, afterward, you're, you're backstage. The, the performance has, has uh, come to a close. And uh, um, uh, there is a knock uh, at the door where uh, all of you are, are kind of backstage relaxing and catching your breath and kind of changing out of the more boisterous costumes for your performances. I'm going to jump up and answer the door because I'm assuming it's people asking for autographs and I'm ready to sign them. Uh, the, the door opens and at first you're, you, you don't see anyone until you look down and you notice it is the king himself who has, who has come to pay a visit uh, to you. Oh, hi there, Mr. King Goblin King. Uh, here for an autograph, I assume? <laughs> He's like, ah, ah, I, I, uh, I, I wanted to come and uh, congratulate you on, uh, on an amazing show. I, I, I'm so glad you, you came and, and have, have decided to help us with our, with our, with our, with our problem. Uh, your problem of having not enough entertainment? No problem. Uh, uh, yeah, he's, he kind of looks confused, and he's like, ah, yeah, well, and he has like the, uh, they created like some handbills. That say band of bravos on them and have kind of a really crude drawing of uh, your group, uh, and he's like, and, and he's like holding it up to get it get it signed. Ooh, I'll sign it. I'll sign in the best spot with a really big signature right in the middle. Whoosh. Okay. All right. Uh, he 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 says, oh, yeah, very nice, and he kind of takes it around and and uh, he he approaches uh, Ileana next. I, I've removed most of my excess jewelry, so I'm in mostly my grays and my blues, and I give him a nice curtsy as I can look him in the eye, and I say, what can I do for you this evening, Your Majesty? Oh, whoa, well, you've done you've done more than enough tonight. I mean, uh, tomorrow the real the real fun begins, but uh, here, here, if you could sign this. All right, and I, I pull out a quill with a flourish and sign in the bottom right corner is a small, simple script. Ah, oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, and you notice uh, at this point that uh, his his uh, his lady is also at the door, kind of looking around the corner, and 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 she's she's uh, she's dressed in fineries, although it looks like the dress she is wearing is actually like the dress for like a a young human girl. Um, but uh, it, it fits her well, and it looks like it's been tailored to fit her. And she's there, uh, like holding a, a handkerchief and and watching as the king. Uh, goes around to kind of schmooze with all of you, and uh, he approaches. Uh, the king approaches Lorne next. He's like, ah, if, if you could, if you could sign this. And of course, someone who wants to see the Majesty and his Lord Barnes Pyrotechnic Extraordinaire. Of course, Your Majesty, I will be more than happy to sign this. Would you like the gold ink or the black ink? Oh, oh, go gold, gold, of course, because uh, you know, excellent. like my crown. Actually, your true crown is as mighty as ever, and I kind of sign it like Lauren, then happy face. And I hear you are, your majesty. Thank you for allowing us to perform in your excellent uh, halls, basically. Thank you so much for this opportunity. So I should also note, uh, the king looks, uh, well, he looks vaguely like this. Um, although he, he is wearing a crown. Um <laughs> I'll take care of that. <laughs> 
I'd um, see. With my excellent artistic, just eh, and, uh, continue on. Oh, no need to worry they about look like it. Stink lines. <laughs> nice, nice, very well done. All right. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. That's yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, excellent, we got, excellent. We got that's that. Bright. Now. There we go. I want that crown. I want it. I want it to be mine. <laughs> oh, it's and, so shiny. I know. It's so and, bright. And uh, after uh, <laughs> after uh, after uh, getting getting uh, 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 Lauren's signature, he approaches uh, Rourke, and he's he kind of looks a little a little taken aback by you. You're not sure he's seen very many Tengu. <laughs> well, I'll make sure to bow quite low and, 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 and uh, show o obeisance and I'll say, Your Majesty! <laughs> he kind of... <laughs> if I could have your your scratch, your signature, I, uh, he's like, I, I don't know what, what, what you do. <laughs> uh, I, of course, of course. I'll, uh, let, let me see here. And I'll, I'll take the handbill to sign it, and I'll, I'll look to see that Shenzhen is signed just sort of over the, the main part of it. And there'll be kind of a, a, a look that I give her, uh, you know, just a sort of a dirty look. I'll blow and then I will, uh, uh, so <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll turn it over, and then I will sign the entire back of it. <laughs> Rock, <laughs> that's cheating! Never... He's and like, oh, oh. To him. He's like, oh, that's that's no, that's 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 quite nice. Uh, and uh, and uh, my my captain and my guard, Captain Captain Halvren, he'll be by uh, in in just a bit with your with your down payment. So, uh, excellent, uh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I can't tell you how excited we are uh, to have uh, the four of you here. Uh, the, you're gonna you're gonna really you're gonna save us. It's gonna be great. So uh, yeah, great. <laughs> Uh huh. So uh, he uh, he turns to to leave. A after he goes, I'll turn to the rest and I'll say, "Does anybody know what he was talking about?" I think he may have had too much goblin wine to drink. You know what goblin wine is, of course, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> enlighten me. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, here it's mostly pumpkin. <laughs> Can I do a society beer? check to figure out what the uh, what the drink is? So, or, or maybe uh, I know, know of his area. Interestingly enough, when you when you first entered the kingdom, you came upon this uh, wooden sign uh, on the on the outside that said, you know, "Welcoming you to the kingdom of Gildebrandt Bright Crown, uh, first of his name," uh, and then it had this long list of honorifics, uh, and at the bottom it said, "No magic." Um, but when oh. you arrived, uh, the, the captain of the guard said, uh, well, of course, you're allowed to do magic uh, as part of your act. Uh, but on your way in, you went through vast fields of just like pumpkins. They're just pumpkins. Big pumpkin fields. It appears to be the only crop that grows around here. Did they um, have any of those like big county fair winning pumpkins that you could like build a house out of? Uh, the, um, yeah, they, they, none of them were quite that big. I mean, they weren't eh, that nice. <laughs> I've seen better. <laughs> uh, the most of them were like, you know, your standard kind of like, you know, foot and a half pumpkins. Um, but, uh, the, 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 the peasants, uh, who were working the fields, uh, looked, uh, at you all with kind of wide eyed wonder. And, uh, uh, as you approached, uh, you got close to the keep to realize that the, the place, kind of a ruin um in fact the 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 keep and the people itself look like you know they're barely hanging on around here the uh the the country the nation doesn't exactly look too too wealthy um in fact this is pretty typical in the river kingdoms you know small kingdoms pop up and vanish uh here almost uh uh you know every few months and uh you know will this one be here in a year who knows uh, but uh, as you were brought into the keep, you you quickly came to realize that the keep itself uh, is is a ruin, and the main buildings themselves are like built inside the shell of its outer walls. So the great hall that you just performed in is like a wooden shack built inside the great hall of the ruined keep. Um, it's nice inside, but it's it's still clearly like a renovated ruin. <laughs> Um, and uh, you have been escorted now back to your quarters, um, which is um, really just kind of a, a small series of rooms that look like they were possibly cells. 
and <laughs> luxury and, at every corner in this kingdom. Yeah, as a matter of fact, one of the rooms has like the outer crumbled and like so there's like a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> is there is there any like memorable looking graffiti on the walls? I kind of sort of collect fun graffiti. Uh, uh, no, not, not really. Um, uh, there, place there, continues to disappoint. Uh, yeah, no, there, there's nothing, there's nothing nice about this place. Uh, there's not even good graffiti. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to scribble under the wall. Your graffiti goes here and then point an arrow to a blank spot. Sure. Sure. I can tell that a very handsome and debonair alchemist was here pretty recently. <laughs> Sounds yeah, like you're a... getting bombed. <laughs> What? Sorry, you had a back of noise. It was hilarious. It sounded like a plane was coming in out. You're going. Oh, I guess there was a, a fire truck going by. No, you're good. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> so, what um, is the state of the pumpkin fields? Um, it's pretty late in the season. Um, it's looking like it's getting close to winter, so they're doing a lot of their harvesting right now. Um, so yeah, I mean it's uh. Uh, most of the pumpkins are actually out of the fields. The ones that are still in the field look like they're not very good anymore. Um, but you know, you were you were when you arrived and were set up in your room, you were you were served some pumpkin stew and some roasted pumpkin seeds, and everything appears to be made out of pumpkin. <laughs> and they're, they're not going to bring us pumpkin pie, are they? Everything but pumpkin pie. Well, of course they're not bringing pumpkin pie. That's the good stuff. <laughs> So um, you're, you're, you've been taken back to your room after the performance. Everything's died down. The captain of the guard comes by, uh, and uh, he is a very tall, imposing human man. He's got a kind of a scar running down one side of his face. Uh, he's wearing, like, you know, like half-plate armor, and he comes marching in, and you can see that there are more guards outside, and he says, uh, The king uh, asked me to bring by your, your down payment. Of course. You can, I, I'll take that. Um, and he, he hands off a, uh, a, a pouch of coins. Hmm. I'm going to uh, thank him and open it up and start counting the coins out into four equal stacks. No, 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 Shin Shin. I, I will take care of that. I, I, I take the bag and stuff. Like, I'm the treasurer, remember, of our esteemed group. Uh, and I sit down at like a, I assume there might be a table and a stool somewhere. And so I just start kind of like, and here's my share and here's their share. And I take the, I put two coins to the side and pour the rest in the bag, <laughs> tie it up. Like, don't worry, everyone. Uh, we have to ration everything for supplies for when we leave this <laughs> glorious kingdom. Uh, at that, the the captain of the guard says, "Yes, yes, you'll be uh, you'll be free to go as soon as your contract is complete." Oh, uh, and when is our uh, contract complete again? Um, I, I seem to maybe lost the paper here and there. I don't have it handy right now. So right before you went on stage, the captain actually presented you with kind of a scroll that um, he was like, "Here, sign, and uh, I'll get you your your down payment." And I signed I sign that contract right in the middle because I think he's asking for an autograph. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he's like, well, uh, you're here for at least the next uh, week, he says, although uh, however long it takes for you to complete the uh, the task. Well, the show is already over, so... Uh... I, 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 I cover. So it's, like, it's, it's not over. If we're going to get getting paid more, then of course we'll continue the thing. Isn't that right? Because we like Whatever. money. Whatever. Yeah, yes, so, a yeah. matinee! A matinee tomorrow, perhaps? Uh, he course. looks at you and goes, <laughs> Matinee. See you in the morning, bright and early. And the guard captain turns and leaves. Wait, did he say early, like before lunch? Because that sounds <laughs> awful. Did he leave the scroll? Do we have it, or did they take it with them? Um, uh, no, he he left it here. Yeah. All right. Can I can I unroll and read around Shenson's gigantic autograph? Sure. So the 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 contract actually is like filled with a lot of legalese. You're kind of surprised, uh, like, uh, and it looks like it's um, uh. It, you're not sure who wrote this, but it, it's it's a legal contract um, that talks about, you know, the party of the first part and the party of the second part. And, you know, it goes on and on. Um, but 
One thing of note that sticks out for to you is that um, the uh, services rendered part um, includes a line about um, uh, fully restoring the iron mine. I kind of walk over to Alana and kind of like leaning over going like, wait, what does that line say? Something about an iron mine? This is surprisingly legible. Who who, who signed this document without my consent? I look at Shinsen. I'm sure there's no way to tell. This is, <laughs> just, I just look at the only signature and I'm like, why would you sign this? Like he asked for an autograph. He's a he, fan. I'm not going to turn down the fans from their their lowly little pumpkin stained lives from one bit shiny bit of happiness getting a celebrity to give their autograph. I didn't even charge him money for the autograph. I should I, be thanked. I bring my hand up to a lot. Can, can I see that piece of paper, please? So uh, here's the other thing. You look inside the bag. There's like a hundred gold in here. See, 90 of it for oh. yeah, 90 of it for the expenses of uh, us traveling around and like five for me and oh. the rest for you. You know, lawyer fees. <laughs> it's it's fine. I think we need to review your contract, Lauren. That's that you all signed it. I autographed it. That's different. Now, is it now? So is it different for this one? You dolt! Now, as far as I can I, tell, I, now... I kind of putter my way between the two of them. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Let's calm down and see exactly what we've gotten into. So, uh, looking at the contract, it's actually, like, the the it mentions, um, you know, uh, telling, you know, putting on a performance of past adventures to the, uh, the folk of the Kingdom of Bright Crown. But... It looks like the vast majority of what you were hired for is actually um, this quest, um, you know, and 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 so interestingly enough, it's like party of the first part, party of the second part. Later on, it starts referring to the quest just as the quest. So it's like the party of the first part shall, you know, expediently resolve the quest, and it's all in bold and like it's so. But when you actually look for details on what the quest is. Um, the only real detail is uh, clearing out the local iron mine. That's all it is. So as they're looking through the, the contract, I kind of get like the sort of a little shiver. I don't like standing this close to contracts or things like that. So I'm going to kind of wander off to the other side of the room and whatever. Let them handle it. Uh, let me know when you need something like fancy done. Can you, can you fanciful clear out a mine potentially filled with danger and daring? Of course. Excellent, and that's then this will be your forefront then. And, oh, and, all right then. And since we didn't sign it, we are obligated, so I suppose we should do this. Uh, is there a deadline on this one? I think it was a week, I think. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like, uh, it sounds like they're going to come fetch you in the morning. So you should probably get some Yep, yep. I, yes, all my sudden, I believe I am de dreadfully tired, everyone. I, I think we should all return to our chambers. I'll take, uh, I think mine's the one with the hole in it with the indoor uh, shower when it rains. So uh, thank you all, thank you all for, your, for the meeting. I will see you all in the morning. I kind of like try to take the paper, roll it up, and begin to head out. All right. Um, does everyone turn in? Yep. I mean, we do have an AM meeting, don't we? I know. I'm going to try to get to sleep. I'm going to stay up all night worried about falling asleep on time, though. A.M. mornings. <laughs> the gods have cursed us with that of the time of the morning. So, uh, yeah, like clockwork, the next morning, uh, shortly after dawn, uh, there is a loud uh, knocking at the door. Uh, <coughs> what? As, uh, as the uh, captain of the guard, Lord uh, Captain Halvren, is uh, there to escort you to your uh, quest. Uh, as you are kind of, you're allowed to like gather up your stuff and do your morning preparations as normal. Um, the uh, the captain is kind of watching over all of you. Uh, and uh, he he's looking at you, kind of shaking his head. You, he looks like a seasoned warrior and, you know, after watching all of you go through your morning preparations, he... You're pretty sure he knows that you're not, like, famous adventurers. <laughs> I'm going to assume he's shaking his head because he's just jealous that he's not a star. Mm. 
Could be. Poor guy. Poor guy. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll approach him. Uh, so, Captain, uh, what would you say is uh, uh, mm, down there in the, in the iron mine? He, he shrugs. I don't rightly know. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> I, well, the, the previous king tried to send me there, but then he went there and... Oh, he never came back? Nope. <laughs> Where oh. do you think uh, King Brightcrown got his fortune? Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. But uh, I'm sure you will all do fine. Well, yes, of course. We've been practicing for this uh, for for days. <laughs> he says, "I can tell." Yes, so, yeah, and some yeah, of those days were even back to back days. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, we have gone through many of adventures. Obviously, can tell from our theatrical exposure. Obviously, skilled in the ways of dealing with c c creepy crawlies and things like that. Obviously, we're, we're quite skilled. At this isn't that right, gang? I looked at everybody else uh, as I'm obviously in the hallway talking. Wait, there's creepy crawlies? Uh, uh, no, friendly things that we have to oh. deal with. We get to sing okay. at them to death. That's your job, right? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Rock Thunderbird was born for adventure. <laughs> the captain is just shaking his head at all of you, and he's like, come on, the king wants to see you off. All right. Well, how on, our way. on our way, boys. I mean, there's no time like the present. Mm. So you're uh, you're escorted back to the main hall where the king is having breakfast. You notice he's uh, enjoying what looks to be like a pumpkin muffin, and uh, he's uh, he's uh, feasting upon his muffin. And he uh, he looks out at uh, at all of you, and he says, "All right, well, I'm 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 terribly terribly excited." to finally have the mine uh, back open again, and uh, I'm sure you will all do great. Uh, he he looks out uh, at all of you. All you need to do is uh, make sure it's clear of any monsters or threats, that way we can open it back up. Much to the prosperity of the kingdom. All right. How far out did you say this mine was? Oh, it's 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 only about a mile away. It's It's right nearby. Will there be a wagon to bring us there? Like a fancy wagon with cushions on the seats? And drinks, he says. Um, I, well, I hadn't. I, 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 I thought as adventurers you would just walk. Uh oh, uh, uh, Captain uh, Halvren right. and his guards will accompany you to the mine. Okay. Actually, at least we have an escort to protect us from any ruffians. So, uh, yes, I suppose if we're uh, all just a little bit ready, uh, does everyone have everything they need? Yeah. No it, uh, drinks, but I'll make it. Since do you have your handkerchiefs? You usually have a terrible cold. I don't need handkerchiefs. I'm fine. I, okay, okay, as long as you don't get your allergies acting up again. And I assume everyone else is good. Excellent. Then off we go. Uh, point it. Lead us to the to the objective. The uh, captain of the guard kind of looks at all of you with a uh, um, amused look on his face. He looks up at the goblin uh, king, shakes his head. And says, all right, this way. And uh, he uh, leads you back out of the keep, uh, out to the yard, where him and his men uh, mount up and uh, are ready to escort um, all of you to this mine. Uh, the journey there takes about 20 minutes. It's not a, a, a straight line from the keep. You have to kind of leave and kind of wander through some fields, and there's a bit of forest. Uh, but about 20 minutes later, um, you come to uh, a, a bit of a hillside uh, bluff where there is a mine entrance. I'm sort of out of breath from that un unnaturally long walk. I'm not used to, like, no carriages or anything like that. So I'm going to, whew, wow, I thought you said it was close. Come now, uh, nice morning walk to get you ready to go for the adventure? Uh, I'm usually asleep still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not used to walking so much and stuff for so many years. I'm like, <gasps> it's taking a while. Oh, God. Okay, well, I guess we're not the uh, 
The cave entrance, then. Uh, I, I, I suppose we have to actually do this, fellas. Wait, wait, is it a cave entrance or a mine entrance? Because the contract clearly said a mine entrance, and if this is a cave, we don't have to do this. Uh, so, uh, 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 yeah. Continue. As you approach, as you approach the hillside, uh, you can clearly tell that the uh, that there is a, a cave that leads into the hillside, and that there has been mining that has been done in the cave. So it is both uh, a cave and a mine. And as a matter of fact, now you can see it. So uh, bottom um, left, fellas. Yeah, if you're if you're having trouble finding yourself uh, on the map, you're bottom left there um i have just dropped you onto the map you should be able to see if anyone's having any trouble please let me know yep that's it hey okay you are good to go fantastic all right so you are at the uh entrance to this mine you are looking uh kind of into the darkness there is a very old rusted set of uh of rails uh, coming up out of the mine, and they just kind of trail off. Like it, they look so old that the ends of them have kind of just rusted away, um, and the, uh, the 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 tracks themselves are just kind of ruined. So this mine looks like it hasn't been in operation in at least fifty to a hundred years. It's kind of hard to tell. It might be much older than that. Inside, it looks incredibly um, dark. Um, I mean, it's early morning right now. The sun has come up. Uh, you can kind of smell that crisp autumn air. It's cold. Uh, it's <laughs> damp. Uh, but even from here, the mine is kind of radiating warmth uh, that you can kind of feel coming out from the depths. So what would you like to do? I, uh, um... If I could volunteer the first first thing, fellas, that uh, I like to... Like, I assume before I came out, I decided to see how dark it was, so I grabbed a twig or like a branch or so. Uh, before I came okay. in, so I then cast light on that stick, basically right. like, a, like a decent stick. So I cast Markley. light on, then I break it into four pieces, and then I hand each person a piece of the stick with light casted on it. That's not how that works. Ah, oh, <laughs> darn it! I tried. I tried, fellas. I just cast get, light. I cast light get, on my staff. <laughs> you get one light, you cheater. <laughs> darn it! I tried so hard. <laughs> All right. If I might make a suggestion, I, no. I think I can help with this. Can I cast some dancing lights and cast it out into the game? Um, can you cast dancing lights? So the only problem with casting dancing lights and keeping it out amongst everyone else is that it requires you to spend a good deal of time concentrating on it. Hmm. I think we'll get along with just the light in the st Maybe. I, I do like how those lights kind of prance and caper around. It's, it's always fun seeing the shenanigans they get up to. I'll miss them. So, uh, uh, dancing, dancing lights, the way it works is, um, it's something you can certainly do when you need a lot of light in one situation, but you're not going to want to wander around sustaining it constantly. The moment combat starts, you'll probably have it end, and then people could be in darkness, so. <laughs> Don't worry, um, fellas, I have light at the end of my stick like Gandalf. We got this. So, um, uh, yeah. So, Lorne, you now have light on your... Uh, token. Everyone should be able to see that light. Let me know if, if you can't, uh, but I think I've got that set up the right way. Yeah, um, I'll do that to kind of shift so, it. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Snazzy. So, so go, um, go look for bugs in there, Lorne. <laughs> ha! Very funny, Renshin. I hate bugs and terrible evil creatures. Uh, at this moment, fellas, I suppose we should... Uh, I suppose we should go forward, I assume. Uh, who, who wants to take point? Well, you I'll do have the light. That's a good point. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, fine. I'll go forward then. I decided to go I'm up gonna, just a I'm little bit. Use the, uh, that, uh, the, the One more time. One more time. Oh, no. Oh, I'm seeing you. No. The cave already got him. No, <laughs> he's silent forever. Oh, no. There we go. You're good now. Go ahead. Or okay. you were. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I will um, have my buckler strapped on, so I'll have that raised up as uh, as part of my uh, exploration tactic. All right, great. Up ahead. Okay, so Rourke has his buckler out and raised. That's good to know. 
Um, Lorne, uh, you're moving forward just kind of cautiously with your light. Yep, I have. Doing anything else? Yep, it's on my staff, basically. I'm just basically behind him, you know, with one hand ready to do some magic hoblobas. And I'm just like, all right, I try to lead the way with light, and like right behind Rock Thunderbird. Okay. Um, before anybody else moves themselves forward, I just want to know what everyone else is doing. So, um, uh, Alana, what are you up to? Alana? Alana? Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Yay. There we are. I have my crossbow. I'm getting my crossbow bow prepped, and I am following. I, I assume okay. she's following me. Yep. Yes. All right. Yes. And uh, last but not least, Shenson, what are you? Uh, what are you up to? I'm gonna get up there, up front with uh, my amazing bird traveling companion, and get my scimitar out and be ready to start performing uh, adventure music with my oh. voice. All right. Well, it's going it's to be, good... be stabsy music. It's good that you did so because when you once you reach this point, you notice that the uh, the entrance to the uh, cave um, looks very old. Doesn't look like it's been traveled in quite some time. There's a lot of cobwebs in here, um, but once you reach this point, you notice that the cobwebs are particularly thick. And upon drawing near, falling down from the ceiling, look, bugs for Lorne. Oh, is... spiders. A pair of spiders. Lauren heavily dislikes this. These uh, these two spiders drop from the ceiling. Uh, they don't do so with any particular speed. Um, so it's not we're not looking at any sort of surprise or anything like that. They don't get the jump on you. Uh, but at this point in time, I am going to ask everyone to roll perception for initiative. And to help you guys do this, click your uh, token and then go to your character sheet and then click uh, your initiative button on your character sheet. So there you go, everybody. I seem to have uh, to get this. And also, chat, by the way, we can only have a total of three hero points, by the way, as we all do this. So if you are waiting for us to spend some and help us out, I would, I'm pretty sure the players would greatly appreciate it. I don't know how to roll initiative. <laughs> how, how, okay, okay, we got you, buddy. And this also help everyone else who's warning about roll twenty. Click your token uh, that's on the map, and then you got go it. to your, go to your character sheet. All right. And then on the right hand side, there will be a perception section, and on that you then click initiative, the big initiative button. There you go. All right. And now it's up to uh, Mr. Bowman to get it, make sure we're in the right order, and then he's going to murder all of us. That is well. I mean, we'll we'll see if that's correct or not. Um. All right. So, uh, we are now in our first combat. Uh, for those of you who haven't uh, played around in Roll Twenty before, this uh, setup makes life really easy. You just click on the parts of your character sheet, and it rolls everything in chat for you. So, uh, at first. Uh, our first action here is going to be Lorne. You have a pair of spiders that have dropped uh, around you. Uh, it is your turn to act. You get three actions. What would you like to do? All right, for my first action, I'm going to just be very scared, but I'm so frightened of the spiders. I just want it dead immediately. It's like, oh, no, spiders! And so I immediately kind of walk up to it, uh, basically engage it here. And then I'm immediately going to cast Shocking Grasp at it in melee range. It's like, no, die, spider. And I found the attack, but I'm going to use one of chat's uh, hero hero points that they gave me. And then try right. to do it one more time. I want to trust more in the 15th result that I got. So will that be a hit on it? A 15 is not enough. No! Uh, you reach okay. out with your shocking grasp and uh, the spider nimbly dodges aside and you end up with a handful of webbing that burns and, and fills the area with a, with a thin smoke. But that is the end of your turn. Next up, the spiders go. Okay. Um, the spider that is right adjacent to uh, Lorne is going to attempt to bite you with its fangs. Oh, heavens. That'll do it. I have a sneaking suspicion that an armor class of 22 is going to hit, so take three points of damage. Ooh, I've been, I've been harmed. And I'm going to need you to make me a fortitude saving throw, please. Oh, heavens. Uh, here comes one fortitude save. Whoop, I made a 17. 
Uh, 17 is going to be enough. You manage to you feel a burning in your veins as the spider's fangs deep in, uh, dig into your arm, but you shake it off and manage to avoid any ill effect. The spider, undeterred, attempts to bite you again. This time with a penalty of five, that's going to be nowhere near enough. And ah, suck I'm spider. going... Yeah, fair enough. And I'm going to try one last time, swinging for the fences here, and that is going to be nowhere close to enough to hit. The other spider, which is next to Shenson and Alana, uh, its first action is going to be attempt to bite uh, Shenson. Here comes the fangs. No. Armor class 10 is terrible. I am going to spend mm. a villain point to reroll. Oh no, Chad, not... why'd you help him? <laughs> oh. It's it's uh this one right here is uh gonna gonna use a gonna use a villain point and it's gonna go ahead and re-roll that. Here it is. Armor class sixteen, is that enough? That is not enough. Ah. I'm wily. You're slippery. <laughs> Alright, second bite. Uh, not boy. enough. No, not with the penalty. That's only a 12. And uh, with the third one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw the third bite at Alana because uh, I share the love. Oh, that, and that. Uh, Nope. That's I, I a, think she, she tanks it. That's a uh, 14. Uh, to be AC of 16. That's going to miss. And yeah, the penalty of 10 did me in. Um, all right. That is it for both the spiders. They have both uh, taken all of their bites. Next up, Shenzhen, it is your turn. All right, I'm gonna start singing a song. It's kind of a song that I sing a lot that people probably in this group have heard before about how we're going to defeat the monsters and emerge victorious and about how Lauren is always jumping the gun and missing out on the bonus because he goes before I go. <laughs> so I'll start that up and then I will immediately stab the, uh, the spider next to me with my scimitar. All right. Which is a 19. A 19. Wheel Plus one hit. from Barding. That will hit. So that's going to do a total of what? Four points of damage? Four damage, yes. And then I will I will be emboldened by that success, and I will stab it one more time. All right. Oh. Nice. Nice roll. So that's a 22 minus five. So a 17 is a hit exactly. That's another, another what, six? Another six damage, yep. The spider uh, looks like it was relatively hurt by that, but it is still uh, kind of up and fighting. Oh, no. Don't, don't uh, worry, Shin Shin. You're doing a wonderful job. Uh, be careful, though. If it... I, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn it. Can I like, yell across as a free thing? Uh, like, yeah. Don't, comment. Sorry, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, 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 don't let these spiders bite you. They do something nasty. Look what they did to my arm. And I kind of like lift up one free hand showing like the, you know, kind of like the venomy burn that almost got me. Oh, you should also hurt them too. That that works really good too, I've, I found. I'm working on it, Sin Sin. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well done. Rourke, it is your turn. Don't worry, Lord, I've got you. Uh, I will uh, do a tumble through to move through this spider, or at least attempt to do so. So that is going to be a tumble through once in my first action. Here's an acrobatics check. Yep. Uh, well, I'm going to clap for those acrobatics. Yeah, I've got <laughs> an excellent job. Against against the spider's reflex DC? Uh, against my reflex DC is going to be enough. Congrats, you have tumbled through. All right, I basically do a little kind of like flip over the spider's head, um, landing on the other side. I now have Panache. Oh no. Simon <laughs> Swashbuckler, yes. The, the spider uh, looks so impressed. <laughs> 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 Um, I will, uh, I will do one of my normal, well, my normal taxes is with my beak, because as a Tengu, I am always armed. <laughs> you are going to bite the spider with your beak. You're going to peck it. <laughs> yeah, kind of a peck. Yeah, sure. 
Uh, go ahead and make your attack roll. Oh. I was hoping you'd hit so you could tell you, us what it tastes like. You have three hero <laughs> points. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll that. It's true. All right. Go ahead and uh, give me the re-roll. Even worse! Even worse. <laughs> oh. Oh, crap! Oh. And then with my, oh, with my final action, I will attempt that again. All right. I believe in you. I believe in you, Rock Thunderbird. That looks good. That might just. That is, at a, that is at a minus uh, uh, minus five, though. Oh. So uh, that is going to hit, though. So uh, that's going to do what? A grand total of ten with the bardic music, or do you have that in? No, I've added that in. So it's nine uh, whole damage, two of which is precision damage, if need be. Nine. Whole All right. Uh, that. Uh, spider uh, is looking pretty badly hurt, but it is still up. All right. That was Rourke. Next up, Alana, it is your turn. Bottom of the order. I, I am shocked and a little horrified, and spiders are terrifying, but I don't want to bring too much harm to them because they are living creatures, so I'm going to slow them down, and I'm going to cast Tanglefoot. Okay, on uh, which one? On the one closest to me. All right. Uh, go ahead and uh, I believe that requires you to make a spell attack roll. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, a nine is not going to do the uh, blob of goo misses. Um, and I believe that is two of your actions. You still have that one remaining. It is, so I'm going to use my third to take a step back and gather myself for a moment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get away from the spider. Very good. All right. Alana backs away. The two spiders look hurt, but they are still both in the fight. Next up, top of the order, Lorne. I'm going to say, I am tired of all of these spiders. I put my hands together, bring them back out, and an electrical arc comes in, and I blast it at the one in front of me, and hoping that it'll also arc with a natural 20. <laughs> and I basically crit that spider, and it's an electrical arc uh, cantrip, so it also arcs into the other one because it is within 30 feet. And I'll roll critical wow. roll damage, and that is 14 damage. Plus one. And plus one. So I don't know if it's it's a crit. It's a, yeah, it, it would be a critical because it's a natural 20, so bam. With, with, with a, uh, a thunderous... Well, actually, so entertainingly enough... Uh, Let's see, yeah. So I get a reflex save. <laughs> also, I, uh, does okay. Electrical Arc have like an attack roll to it, or is it just they have to make a reflex save and then I do the damage? Uh, electrical Arc? Yeah. I don't know if you don't, if you don't know the top of my head, let's just say it's a reflex save and then do the damage. Uh, yes, it is. It's all okay. right there. I, didn't, didn't, yeah, didn't, I, okay, I believe cool. it's a reflex save. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, they don't need to get it. Never mind. Regardless, yeah, it's yeah, nice no. to have a 20, even though I messed up the thing. No, 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 you're, you're all good. Uh, no. Let's see. The, you succeeded. Uh, first one's going to succeed, but uh, that one... Let's see, it succeeds, but it's not a critical success. Uh, and the other one is going to fail. Oh, oh yeah. Well, so, I got excited for nothing, boys. Sorry. No, 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 you're, you're fine. Um, okay, so uh, the spider on the far side that failed its saving throw... Uh, flips over, burns, and its like legs curl up in the way that spiders do when they die, and it Yay. is gone. What is it, does it spider? smell awful when it burns? It, it does smell awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other spider looks very badly hurt, um, but it is still up and fighting. Lorne, I believe you still have one action left. Yes, I'm going to cast shield upon myself. Very good. Plus one okay. AC. Uh, you bring a shield up to defend yourself, actually, which is good be because actually, the spider uh, is going next. Actually, I'm going to retake that back. I want to use my last movement to go here. So if I go here, that would technically be flanking for Rorik, right? No, you need to take a oh, step diagonal mind. instead, which you can do. You can take that step diagonal. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, take the step diagonal. There we go. There's the flanking. There you go. Got right. it. Uh, the spider now goes uh, after having been seared by you. Um, and uh, uh, beaked by uh, Rourke. Uh, it has two targets it wants to hit. It's going to start by attacking Lorne. 
Here it comes. Uh, armor uh, class. That'll do it. That'll uh, hit, Captain. 17. That'll hit, Captain. Take seven points of damage uh, as it bites you. Um, and I need you to make me a fortitude saving throw. As That's its cool. venom courses through your veins. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fortitude go. Six. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, hero uh, point. Yeah, yeah. I'll use a hero point. Thank you, chat. And it's 13. Uh, 13 is still not enough, I'm afraid. No. Um, take three points of damage as the Aww. venom begins to course through your veins. With its second action, it's going to attempt to bite Rourke. That is nowhere near enough, and it'll swing for the fences with its third bite, also against Rourke. Uh, that is a 16, which I'm going to wager is a miss. Yes, a miss. All right. Uh, so the spider uh, hisses and bites at you. It looks like it's trying to maybe climb back up the wall to get out of the situation because it looks like it's really badly hurt, but it hasn't gone anywhere just yet. Um, that is the end of its turn. Shenson. All right. I'm going to zip on over here to block the spider from attacking uh, uh, our friendly neighborhood druid. I'm going to continue doing my, my song to okay. give us more bonuses. And uh, as I get to a nice good flourish at the, uh, the chorus of the song, I'm gonna stab the spider right in the face. Okay. So that's a 19. Uh, as a matter of fact, just as you reach the crescendo, you stab the spider right between its many eyes. Yeah. It falls over. Dead. I will wipe the spider juice off my scimitar because that stuff leaves marks if you leave it on there. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The spiders have been defeated. Congratulations, everybody. Yay. I need assistance. Yay. I need assistance. How are you <laughs> feeling, Lord? What can I do? I feel, I feel a two out of a 15 right now. <laughs> Ooh, I, I walk up and I, I pat where I can reach, which is probably like mid thigh, mid hip, and I cast heal. And I cast heal. All right. <laughs> uh, Four pods of energy. Thank you. Okay. Um, Are you, uh, if you're going to cast heal, are you going to use the two action version? I am. Okay, so that's not four, uh, that's 12, Lauren. Uh, excellent, excellent. But I am also going to need you to make another fortitude save as the poison continues to course through your veins. Oh, uh, God, uh, uh, fortitude save. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 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 this is another thing for another hero point, right? Right? I mean, it, you can, yeah. yeah. Hero point again. I don't want to die here by spiders. No, it's worse. <laughs> Why is it worse? <laughs> I, I suffer gonna... how many? How much damage? Another three. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't oh, kill player I characters. To see if I can identify something to heal. Um, you you can uh, you can attempt a uh, a medicine check to uh, to help uh, with the save. Let me look that up here real quick. Um. Get back here. Can we get a new roll 20 so I can roll better? <laughs> yeah, you know, that seems like a good call. <laughs> you just need to roll. Maybe you need to microwave your dice in the virtual microwave or something. Yeah, we'll the just... virtual microwave. That's going to work out well. Uh, Alana, can you give me a medicine skill check, please? No problem. Oh, that was a one. Oh, you don't have your virtual dice roller on, by the way. Um... Okay. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a one. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I reached the shin shin. Help! Help me. The healer's not doing her job you, right. Help! You, you want you want me to do an untrained medicine check with my wisdom penalty? Because I can no. do that. If no, you no want. I'll do it so myself. I just, I'll do it I, myself. I, I medicine this. myself. I got a seven two. What is this? <laughs> so so to be clear alana you crit failed which is going to give oh. him a penalty on his saving throw oh. <laughs> you're like 
I know what we do. You blow on the wound so the poison goes in deeper. That's how it works. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry. We're in the dark. This is a cave. I can't see. Fuck. Here, here, guys. I'll I'll just make a new character in Hero Lab. I'll just make a whole new one. It's nice knowing you all. I'll get the die by spider. It's the first encounter. So, uh, can, uh, <laughs> can, uh, can I get you to give me another saving throw? <laughs> sure. Oh, just, yeah. Just, why do you hate me, gods? <laughs> <laughs> I have one more heal, but that's the last one. Can I? Can I've I bet, got okay. The Untrain heal me. I bet you you'll crit. Um, you sure? Yeah, can you sign it. this waiver form? Yeah, I sign it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna step in and try my untrained medicine check to see if I can help him out. Oh Ooh. come on! <laughs> you asked for it. So, I lay so down I, and so die. I, <laughs> I, pick up, I pick up the spiders, like, uh, chopped off uh, mouth parts, and I start rubbing them all over the wound. Like, this is like a sponge. I think it'll suck the poison back into the the, the spider's teeth, if right? You, is that if working? You, if you flip it around and, and suck out the venom, it'll pull up. That way the poison comes right out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, no, I yeah. flip the spider upside down so the venom goes in reverse. Uh, oh, great. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, uh, did you? Uh, uh, I need. I need Lauren to take. Uh, oh, I put see. it in. I. I, I got it. <laughs> I took okay. the seven. <laughs> All right. I, I feel the seven in my veins. So uh, I'm gonna need you to make another fortitude save. Just, are we just gonna? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Hero point. What? Can a thirteen just pass the darn thing so I could die later on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good um, so unfortunately the poison steps up to stage three now oh. uh, so that's a thing just looking and, at uh, my friends going why did you let me die you're and still now, alive you're making an awful lot of noise I have one hit point <laughs> left alright does uh, does somebody want to make a medicine check here um, I, I'm going to actually make another one? yeah you can yeah all right, I like, take I like how... two. <laughs> Finally, a 22. Does that do it, Jason Slayer of characters? That uh, gives you a bonus of two on your fortitude save. Oh. Before, he, before he makes that fortitude save, though, I'm going to kind of feel a little sad for him, and I'm going to sing him a nice little lullaby that if you listen to it just right, it almost sounds like I'm trying to, like, soothe him away from, like, passing into the great beyond. I, I uh, suff uh, over and, and look at Sid. Are you playing for so. my funeral? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and then I cast Soothe on him. Oh, nice. Which, um, oh, it didn't set anything up to roll. So that's a 1d10 for healing, correct? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Plus two it is. So seven. So seven uh, HP back? Yep. Yeah. So you get seven hit points back. Look at that. You're back to eight. Can Should you give me that uh, fortitude save now? Yeah, sure. Here comes a five. A 22! Suck it, spiders! <laughs> Plus whatever it was. <laughs> Is this some of that special mental poison? Because he gets a bonus because I soothed him up so good. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, the poison <laughs> finally... <laughs> the poison finally what? One more time. The, the, the poison finally comes to an end. Good. Oh, I get up, yeah. just kind of brush off my robes, and I just go, we're never going to speak about this again. And just oh, I'm already get, writing it all down. And just, mm. <laughs> and I, I continue on with my low HP. Let's go. Roark in yeah. front. I'm tired of this cave already. I want to go the, home. The the funny part is the poison was coming to an end anyway. Duration had run out. Okay, just, so! <laughs> 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 You know, it's fine. All right, so, yeah. um, all right, so those spiders are dead. Okay, um, you're still in a mine. You look back out the entrance, by the way, and you can see the captain kind of standing there looking kind of around the corner. <laughs> with I'll give him a wave. We're good, we're good, don't worry. You got this? You kind yeah, of... yeah, yeah. 
They barely touched us. Give him a shaky thumbs up and just keep going. So I do want to remind you that you can do a medicine check to treat wounds and give him back some additional hit points. Um, what happens if we critically fail because we have a minus okay. one on our, our check? Can I treat well, wounds uh, myself so no one else kills me? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, anybody with medicine can can attempt it. It's fine. Well, I'll, I'll try myself. Here, so I do, let, I, let someone trained do it. Let I, I'm, someone who's I'm trained in it. it. I'll put away the... Hey, here, I'll put away the big pile of mud I was going to use on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Alana do it since it's her job. All right. <laughs> All right. I, I, I give him a look that he didn't come to me for healing first. <laughs> yeah. Then I roll a 17. Uh, 17 is enough. I believe uh, you can go roll 2d8. The heavy, you can do the dice roll at the top left there and then... Uh... You see, like, a little dice uh, roller thing, and then you can do it. I can do that if you like. Sorry, I'm going in and out. I only heard half of what you said. No worries. Uh, he's, he's, here's he's your got you. Nice, yeah. I'm full. Thanks, boys. Yeah, there you go. There we Look at that. My dice are benevolent. So, <laughs> you know. You shut up, Jason, you murderer. <laughs> okay. What you get for calling him out in the beginning? As you yeah, can, well, in the beginning. Just continue with the cave. Come on, boys. <laughs> All right, so what do you do now? What are you up to? I I'm going to check the, if the spiders have, like, any treasure. Because I've never seen a spider this big. I assume they keep treasure in their spider pockets. Um, It looks like these spiders have most be, mostly been living on, like, birds and, and maybe a bat or two that has flown into their cave. I don't um, let Rourke's, or Rourke's see that they've been eating birds, because that's trauma. <laughs> I've seen right. worse. Oh, all right. <laughs> Yeah, they're just like little desiccated, wrapped bird, you know, bird bones and feathers. Um, uh, it doesn't look like these things have killed anything with treasure. You don't really find anything of value. Oh. No so. Come on, boys. Time's um, a-wasting. Let us continue. Rock to the front. I'm here. I'm here. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll again raise up my buckler and, and take that uh, tactic as I move forward deeper into the mine. All right. Well, up ahead, you can clearly make out that the uh, the the mine kind of takes a turn. So feel free to kind of start moving yourselves forward. Um, you know, as, as much as you like. I'll tell you what's revealed when you reveal things. So, oh, uh, just a lot of please uh, don't please don't make such weird sounds and stuff and scare me as if it's like another pair of spiders. So, as you uh, draw close, you can tell that the uh, mine rails come to an end as you uh, reveal a chamber um, that... Uh, why don't you move yourselves all up around that area right now? That's fine. Um, great. So, uh, you reveal a chamber that looks like the kind of central mine shaft. Um, this mine... Um, you know, it doesn't look like it went too far in the hillside before uh, heading down. In the center of the chamber, there is um, a lift of some sort. It looks uh, old and wooden and rickety, uh, but the mechanism is kind of right there uh, off to the side, and it looks like it's still intact. Um, this chamber, uh, even from here, you can see uh, rust-colored stains uh, on the wall that looks like, uh, you know, iron deposits that were not entirely um, uh, cleared out before the miners moved uh, deeper into these, uh, into these uh, caves. Um, and in fact, the first thing you kind of spot is the fact that there are scattered around this room quite a few bones. Um, are there any half-elf bones? Um, you, you can't really tell from this distance. They're just kind of piles of bones um, kind of littering this cave. Um, and it's clearly not animal bones either. These are large, like a, a, a skeleton's worth of bones. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what you see. So what would you like to do? Can I do a knowledge nature check on the bones to see if I can identify them? Uh, if you'd like to approach one, there's a pile about 15 feet to the south of you. That sounds like a let's, trick. Let's hmm. all go together. Uh, yes, to get those groups. <laughs> hopefully, to protect me from the spiders. Carefully, slowly. Carefully, oh, slowly. Okay, wait. Oh, no, Rock. 
Yeah, I'll do this. Do that. Do that. There you go. So uh, you begin to investigate. Everybody stop moving. <laughs> as, <laughs> as you as you begin to move uh, a bit deeper into the caves, Alana is right next to one of the piles of bones. And as she reaches down, they suddenly start trembling. And like a, 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 a like a it's it's like watching something collapse but in reverse the bones start piling back on top of each other as quite suddenly you see a skeleton jason is this the first time you've used a skeleton in an adventure nope <laughs> i thought not oh heavens oh heavens we're surrounded boys that uh, protect me. I, I cower behind my lit up staff, trying to shine where all the, you know, skeletons are. Yeah, there are four of them that stand up, and as they put themselves back together, they are only standing about four feet tall. They have very broad skulls, um, oh. with very kind of squat, wide jaws, and some of them have like you know scraps of flesh still on them um and it looks like some of these even have beards still these look like they might be dwarf skeletons and on that can i get everyone to roll initiative please will do i got a 16 on mine now everyone still needs help be sure to click your token and then do initiative and, uh, wow, you critted on yours. You got a natural 20. Oh, well done. And another 20. Yeah. 20s are easy if you have ranks to perform. What were these, <laughs> were these 20s when you were trying to heal me from poisoning? This is, this is, this is where they live. Uh, <laughs> is it more dull? Uh, yep. I think, yep, we're good to go. Fantastic. Let me go ahead and sort these. All right. Jumping in, seizing the initiative, Rourke, you have the first action. What would you like to do? Let me just check some some, some distances. Oh, wow, that's a weird one. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 I'm gonna like, I'm gonna nudge, I'm gonna nudge Lauren, and I'm gonna say, I have landed a trick or two from you, my friend, and I will cast Electric Arc. Uh, I take, I take. As a, as a racial spell that I have. I take on, notes. Uh, very good. All right, so you're going to go ahead and cast Electric Arc on these two? Yeah, the two closest to us. Those two? I think they're within, all within 30 feet. Yeah, let's see how this... All right, go ahead and uh, roll damage. That's what, five damage, uh, DC 16 electricity. Okay. Uh, five electricity damage. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and do a pair of reflex saves. Wow. That skeleton's really really nimble the other one wasn't okay uh the electricity the electricity jumps between the two of them crackling at their bones but as they have no flesh that appears to have done no damage Ooh. Well, uh, oh no are they but would, would them be wearing metal help affect anything um yeah, it 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 the, the like electricity just kind of danced between their bones a bit, but it really oh. didn't appear to do anything. Oh no! We should just be happy that it didn't mad scientists turn them into like electric skeletons. All the time <laughs> that I said it out loud in front of Jason. <laughs> 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 I don't know what that was. That <laughs> all right? So um, I shouldn't game on webcams. All right, um, let's. Uh... <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, my third action will be to, to raise my buckler, to, to continue to raise it, I guess. Fantastic. All right, Shinsen, it All right. your choice. I'm going to start uh, another bardic performance, uh, once again singing about how uh, Lorne uh, didn't wait in... Oh, wait, no, he did, actually. He did, he's doing it right. It's going to throw me off a little bit. I'll still try to sing uh, so everybody gets a plus one hidden damage, and then I will stab the skeleton right next to me. Okay. For as much as that'll help. Maybe. Four points of damage on a 20. Uh, four points of slashing damage. Slashing. Um, your uh, uh, scimitar flashes out, slamming into bones, and like you see like a, a tiny scratch appear on one of the bones, but yeah. it doesn't have to do any lasting damage. 
then I will finish my round up by casting shield and getting a little little bump to my defenses because the skeleton looks meaner than I thought he was. Fair enough. Alana, it is on you. What do you do? This skeleton is me-sized, and I am taken aback by that, and the fact that he is right in front of me, so I take my staff and I swing it. Very good. You notice that the skeleton in front of you, like, his jaw is only hinged on... So it's like... (laughs) 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 Oof, and how many actions was... Uh, so, uh, you had your staff out, uh, so you can swing it. That is definitely a hit. Um, Good, good hit. Uh, your staff slams into that skeleton, and it looks pretty badly hurt by that, but it is still standing. Even if it gets Uh, a plus one from Bard? Oh, actually, you know what? You, uh, bash it, and, uh, you know what? Yeah, no. It shatters. Yeah. Mm. Your, I your am staff... small and not strong, but I am panicked. Teamwork. <laughs> you, like, bring the staff down right on top of its head, and the, the, the neck bones just, like, pop out like 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 candies go flinging out into the <laughs> cave, and the, the skull is dropped down into its ribcage and clatters down to the bottom, and it just collapses. Jason, I have a very important question. Yes. Are those metaphorical candies or actual real candies? They were metaphorical candies. <laughs> This is the worst timeline. Do I have any more action left? Do I have one move? Uh, you uh, swung your staff. You still have two actions left. Oh, snap. I have two actions. Yep. What would you you like to do? You can, like, cast a spell, move two times, like... What would you like to do? I'm going to turn. I'm going to see how far away the other skeleton is. I'm going to cast an oldie but a baddie, and I'm going to cast Tanglefoot. Tanglefoot. All right. Uh, let's see. That is a... Uh, a 16. 17. 17. Yep. That is going to hit. Um, so the target takes a minus 10 foot penalty to its speeds. Uh, all right. So uh, your... Uh, bag of goop slams right into it and uh, it is now slowed. Actually, job, Alana. Let me see what I got here. That, that looks like a, a slow icon, just so that I remember. There we go. Yeah, one thing with the real tone is you can just do little tokens like a snail thing there. So you can yep. kind of remember things. It's neat. It's got a little snail. That way we know it's slow. Slow like a snake. All right. Um, <laughs> that was Alana Lorne. It is your. Excellent. I'm going to use one of my actions to basically get all the way back here, so I don't, uh, you know, potentially get you know charged with the skeleton. And I realize, okay, electricity didn't work. I will cast acid splash, and a glob of acid comes right out, and that is an attack of twenty-six towards it. Uh, which one are you shooting at? Uh, the the one who is slowed. My bad. Very good. Um, so that is a critical hit. Yes! Uh, the, Suck it, the, skeletons! The blob <laughs> of acid slams into the skeletons and its bones just dissolve. Um, in in a matter of seconds, it, it is 18. a pile of ossified goo. Uh, and that one is now gone. All right. Uh, that is it for the second skeleton. And I just realized that that was the one that I had an initiative token on. Oops. All right. <laughs> oh, we won. We, we took out the master. Yeah, 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 they're, all, they're all dead. They all crumble. Yeah, uh, that's fine. I can I can, I can can keep this moving. So uh, the skeletons now go. This one is uh, it's going to uh, advance up to there and is going to attack Rourke with its claws. These uh, these do not look uh, otherwise uh, armed. They just have claws. Here it comes. Uh, armor class 19 against you, Rourke. Oh, that is exactly a hit with my shield up. Uh, take five points of slashing damage as it uh, uh, claws you. And with its final attack, and this is agile, it will attempt to claw you again, but that is going to miss. The other skeleton, let's see here, he is going to move to there. That is fine. Just make it. 
go ahead and move up there. And uh, it is going to claw at Shenson. Here it comes. Ah, uh, that is nowhere near enough. Uh, so it swipes with one claw and then swipes at the other with the other. And that is going to be an armor class of 19. 19? But that's my armor class with my shield up. <laughs> Take three points of damage. You say he's, he's here to kill us all. These skeletons' uh, claws kind of rake across your uh, neck and cheek, leaving you with a ragged wound. And hey, that... not the face! Not the face! <laughs> that's 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 how I make my money. Um, <laughs> that would be the end of the skeleton's turn. Next up, Rourke. It is your turn, Mister Keeley. Did we lose him again? No, just... Oh no! Oh, the skelly's got it. Yeah, this is the. the this, voice. This is always the technical <laughs> issues with um, doing an online game with this. Not everyone has like super awesome mega setups and stuff like that. So we apologize for uh, you know any mess ups like I this. Know you Keely? Can't there do you go. Me, but I'm there, no, now we can hear you. Now we can hear bad you. Bad connection. We 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 got you there, Keely. What are you up to? Uh oh no! I think his um I think his internet's kind of messing up. What I. Yeah, no worries. Hmm. What we I can just can't assume be. that he killed 1d6 skeletons. <laughs> yeah, he just killed all of the skeletons. So I'm going to do... Well, no, nah, I can't do it midstream here. So we're going to have to wait politely for Keeley. Or... We're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to go ahead and just have him delay. Oh, no, oh, actually, worry. that worked out. This is what he did. Okay, try now to Keeley. Nope, okay, we'll have him delay. Shenson, go right ahead. Um, I will like look over toward uh, Rourke and uh, I understand he's he's got maybe a little bit of stage fright. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I'll I'll take care of the skeleton for him. I will continue the bard performance. Great. And uh, second action, I will stab Arise at the skeleton. That's a little bit better for ten damage on yep. a nineteen. Yeah. Slash uh, damage. That, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, that's 10 damage. Uh, so, uh, your first hit with the scimitar just didn't do anything to a skeleton, but this second one, you, like, swing and it goes, like, right between the ribs, slams into its spine, knocks out, uh, uh one of the discs, and it collapses. That sounds better. Um, so the scimitars have this force bowl and sweep ability. Um, what do those do again real quick? I, I assume it doesn't really have any... Uh, it's not going to help you in this situation just because you're not next to another skeleton. Well, I, I can, like, pretend to, like, shadow box or something like that. Anyway, um, I will, seeing that Rourke is uh, maybe, I don't know, whatever, I'm going to run over to here to try to help him out. Uh, yeah, you can make your way over there, and you still have one action left to attack if you like, but... No, uh... Nope, I did, I, I'm done. I didn't attack a move. Oh, I'm that's over. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. You are correct. Um... So, uh, just for your own edification, uh, Forceful is going to add a bonus to the damage with each additional attack you make with it in a round. Um, and Sweep um, is just a bonus of one. It's the number of dice that you have. And uh, Sweep is going to give you a plus one bonus on attack rolls if you attempt to attack a different target. So, in All fact, right. Sweep would benefit you in this situation. If I'd had four attacks or four actions. Correct. Uh, Rourke, are you back with us now? I am back. I am back. Yay! Fantastic. You may take your turn. Yes. All right. Ah, squawk! Um, I am going to attempt to uh, do uh, a <laughs> mesmerizing performance for this sure. particular skeleton. Uh, yes, yes, using my battle dance. Fantastic. Here we go. <laughs> Hey, that's against the will DC of the skeleton. More than enough. Can be affected. And also, it works. It works against me too because I love seeing birds dance. <laughs> Don't we all? It's kind of like a little. <laughs> oh, I'm just kind of so cute. I'm just kind of strutting back and forth, moving my head around a bunch. Yay! That moving, my, moving my arms. Squaw! That is squaw, a squaw. We all. That applaud. is a critical success. Very nice, oh, baby. Yeah. Um, it is uh, uh, fascinated. Uh, as much as that is, but mostly I get panache. 
And with that panache, I will perform a confident finisher, which is just an attack, right. which if hits does extra damage, and if it misses, still does damage. Fantastic. Go right ahead. Oh, somebody mentioned in the chat that the chicken dance is going on. Okay, okay. Uh, 13 doesn't hit. 13 uh, is not enough. No. You got okay. hero points. But it still does half my... Um, I do have a hero points. I'm going to roll that again. All right. Go right ahead. That, that'll do it. Oh. That's, a, that's a natural <laughs> 20. Plus yeah. one from Bard. Yeah, it's all in there. So that's actually... Um, since I would do an extra 2d6 of damage because I have panache and I'm using a confident finisher, that is all doubled to 30 points of piercing damage. So, um, yeah, this is with your beak. <laughs> oh yes, my god. Right. I just Don't kinda... choke on a bird's choke on bones. Yeah, for just a brief moment, <laughs> you have a skull in your beak and you're like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's but the skeleton. Attack. Entirely collapses. Your beak demolishes it. The bones go flying across the room, scattering to the corners, um, and it has been entirely destroyed. Hooray! So that was so rad. You should keep like the panache for like three more combats. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's we survived, gentlemen. We all survived. Congratulations on our second most heroic victory. Well, and 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 uh, Lauren, uh, congratulations! To, uh, you're batting 500 on getting almost poisoned to death. Shout out, Sen Sen. I don't need to remind me of situations such as that. They don't exist in the books of history when we write them. Mm, that's, hmm. I mean, All can right. we talk about that strike I just did? I mean, uh, I, 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 I so cool. I, I, I saw like wait. atmospheric like fire come from your beak as you destroyed that skeleton. Mm, wait, thank did you. I miss something? I just saw him dancing. You didn't see me peck his face off? <laughs> the dance was neat. I like that that dance was, was, also in, was also impressive. Good, good job, good job. I clap for him. Rourke, mm. is, Rourke is preening himself and and, and, and making, making a big... <laughs> preening. Ha. All right. All right, I'm going to go look for skeleton treasures. So, um, you go take a look at the, the bodies of the skeletons. Um, it looks like they, you know, there, there is, like, scraps of, like, like old miner's clothing still clinging to them. But uh, you find, like, a belt pouch or two here and there, but they're all empty. It, it's almost as if somebody's been through here and cleaned this area out already. I bet it was that guy that brought us here. He has all the loot. We should talk yeah. to him after this. But I, 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 I look around the area and things of the like, like lighting the staff around. Uh, would you like me to do a perception check to see uh, what I may see? Uh, sure. Yeah, that'd be fine. Cool. Do I perceive? I have a just a buffed up 20. All right. So you take a look around and you notice a couple things. Uh, the first is uh, the mechanism uh, for the, uh, the mine shaft uh, kind of elevator. Um, looks really old, but it looks like it's of dwarven construction, so it actually looks like it's probably still functional. Um, and, uh, looks like it could, uh, uh, still be used to ferry, uh, this, uh, cart up and down. Um, so you, you can clearly kind of make that out. Um, you also notice that, uh, up to the north, there is, uh, an old crate, um, that, uh, is, has its, uh, has its lid popped off. And uh, it looks like it's filled with chunks of rusted iron ore. Also, uh, before we continue on stuff, one thing I at least want to compliment you. You drew all of this map, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I like to, I don't know if chat wants to give Jason a big, Ooh, big, big wow. applause for such a well-drawn old school map, because it looks really nice, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, all of the maps in here are mine, so uh, enjoy. Uh, there is actually right here by the spot I'm at, there's like a little kind of a, a corner or a line that has like a, it's a little crooked, so otherwise pretty good, Jason. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. the hell, Jason? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how about that? All right, that's right, terrible. Oh! <laughs> no! You want to go on my line some more? <laughs> I didn't know you had powers. 
I didn't know you had powers. I have eerie powers. <laughs> He's the one above all, James. We must not tempt at his wrath or he will oh, send oh. more spiders after us. By, yeah. by the way, Jason, you look you look very nice today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. All right, so what uh, would you like to do? I investigate the, uh, unless, actually, I'm too scared of the crates. I think there's a spider in it. Uh, Alana, Alana, you seem uh, more than willing to explore the deepest docks of this mining shaft. Uh, can you look inside this crate for us? Mm, I give him a skeptical look, and I inch forward carefully, but I don't actually I look back. in the crate, and I do detect magic. All right. Um, you do a detect magic, which just gives off a, a, a pulse that tells you whether or not there is magic in the area that you don't that you don't already know about, right? So if your friends have magic items, you can kind of discount those in your sweep. Um, so you you do this uh, uh, this uh, pulse and you get something from the oh. bottom of the, you know, from somewhere nearby. Oh. You're not sure where though. That's the problem. I bet it's in the crate. I bet it's in the crate. Well, you're welcome to look in first. Oh, I'm gonna. Uh, I almost open the crate, but then I pause and I remember. Step further away. Once upon a time, something bad happened, and so I'm gonna look on the crate <laughs> for traps. Okay. So um, make a perception check. Okay. Sixteen. Um, you take a look around, but you don't really see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, does it have, on the side have something that says something like caution live snakes inside <laughs> no it's just an ordinary wooden crate there's nothing really uh, from, overly special about from it from the All safety right, behind everyone just open the crate coward it's got it's got like a hey, be nice now I'm sad I'll just morosely look through the crate you said there was like iron ore inside there there is, yeah. All right, I'm going to start picking those up and tossing them over my shoulder and just getting down to the bottom to see if there's something shiny all right, so um, you dig through this crate of old ore, and and I I have to stress, right? You know, iron ore when it first comes out of the wall is you know kind of iron rusted color, just a little anyway. This looks like it's been sitting here for a long time. All of the iron that's on the surface is kind of rusted, and uh, as a result, these these chunks of rock are just filthy. And by the time you dig through this crate, you are just covered in grime. I cast um, pressed digitation to clean myself off immediately. <laughs> Fair no enough. saw that. <laughs> so uh, you get down to the uh, bottom of the crate, and there you find a small pouch that looks like it might have been dropped in the crate as they were loading it up and no one noticed. Huh. I'll pick it up, and I'll, All right. I'll, I'll look inside it. Okay. So you look inside this pouch, and there's a spider. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, instead, what there is, is there are a handful of old tarnished copper and silver coins, and there is one small crystal. It looks like a, a piece of quartz that has a, 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 a an iron band around it um, and, uh, like, a loop that looks like it might, like, attach to, like, a, a maybe a sword or armor or something like that. Ooh, that looks fancy. Um, mm -hmm. If we've got, what, 10 minutes, I think, I could stare it down with Reed Aura. You I could, wouldn't yeah. mind taking a 10-minute sit down. Uh, during this period of time, anyone who hasn't had medicine uh, used on them can also do medicine, if you like. Uh, Rourke is a bit, a touch wounded. I, I, I'm not going to complain. Sure. Uh, uh, Alana, can you, uh, can you help Rourke oh. here? His beak seems to be Come scratched. Come here, gentlemen. <laughs> His beak seems to be scratched. <laughs> Um, okay, so, uh, let's see, read Aura. Let's see, that's a two and an eight uh, for the medicine, it, so it's, it's not, not... At least it's not a crit failure. I, I, no, I but it's dark yeah. and it's scary and we're yeah. kind of stressed out. Remember, you do have oh. three hero points, uh, Lana. You want to spend one to right. re-roll that? Yeah, let's spend one to re-roll. See if we can get him ready before we go down into the dark, spooky cavern. All right, just come to the medicine check again. Let's see what you get. As, as this takes a while. I have a frozen computer. Oh. oh no! Did it overheat? Oh no! <laughs> Lift it up from the carpet if it's on the ground or something. So. Oh. Uh, 
while that's uh, while that's happening, um, uh, you finish the read aura uh, spell. Oh. Was that a one? That's a Did one. Did you re-roll to get a one? Uh, oh. That's the only thing. The oh. only thing you could have rolled to be worse. <laughs> wow. It was very stressful, okay? <laughs> Even my size skeleton. We're going to die <laughs> in this cave, man. And not because of anything I did. You just no, killed each other. It's your <laughs> fault, Jason. You cursed the dice. <laughs> Listen, I may have that power, but I didn't use it, maybe. Okay. All right, I, so... Uh, I, I'll, I'll medicine check Keely and kill what? him. So I got an 18. So, unfortunately, Keely is immune to your medicine check. Darn it. No, uh, I pat him on the and, shoulder. And uh, Rourke took five points of damage from the crit fail. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, good job. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll heal you with this dagger. And, uh, yeah, it didn't go well. Um, so, uh, while, uh, Alana is, is hurting, uh, Rourke, um... Smacking him with my staff, trying to get a spell to work. <laughs> if, you, um, if you smash him with the staff, the swelling will close the wounds. Yeah, it's true. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, during this time, Shenson, you, uh, you finish casting Reed Aura. The crystal is indeed magical. It has evocation magic associated with it. Um... If the party likes, they can like spend an hour learning what this item does, which would also allow everyone to do new medicine checks. <laughs> that sounds like a very yeah. good idea. That, that's a good, even though I have a thing to where I can do quick identification and stuff, waiting an hour seems a better idea right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the party uh, decides to take a breather, recover from their self-inflicted wounds and not self-inflicted wounds. Spend some time learning what this magic item does. And while they are taking that break, I think we should as well. So we're going to take a very quick, uh, brief break here. Everybody will be back in just a few moments. We're going to let the cast get up and uh, grab another beverage and uh, do the bio. And uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, thank you for uh, sticking with us through the break. Uh, when we uh, last were with our intrepid band of adventurers, they were exploring this mine and had decided to take... Uh, an hour off uh, after their uh, their uh, disastrous medicine check, they decided to take some time to identify an item they had just found and to give everyone a chance to uh, heal up. So uh, who needs I, a medicine check? <laughs> uh, before we get to the medicine, I have a very, very important question for Jason, a rules question. Mm. Uh, for prestidigitation, if I clean something off that, say, got dirty, does it undirty later or does it because the, the spell has like a duration listed on it <laughs> no 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 it's it's it, it, it's fine it's clean once it's clean it's clean it's not like once the duration ends the dirt just magically pops back okay. on oh yeah. I, <sighs> can the dirt I'm, like I'm just still... cr like crawl through like the re like crevices of like the walls and everything just goes <laughs> right back on you <laughs> yeah, no, just, I'm, I'm still casting it like every 10 minutes like obsessive compulsively yeah, so well, that, so that makes so sense. Yeah. All right, that's that's all. All right. Um, great. So uh, let's see here. Um, I think some folks wanted to make some medicine checks. Why don't you go ahead and do that now? All right, let's see. We've calmed down. Everything's quiet. We've had some quiet time. <laughs> Still scared of the dark. Oh, for oh, hell. Oh. For <laughs> hell of its sake, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do the fake thing. Well, yeah. whoever whoever just it got now is now immune and can't get oh. a medicine check. You're just gonna die, Rorik. All right, fellas, it seems that we have the winch our way down. Rorik will mourn for your death later. Uh, who wishes to come down? And uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I, I'll drink this potion real quick. And Whoa. I like my one my one healing potion just to get a few. Uh, of those wait, wait. Back. I, I want to see how a bird drinks a potion without lips. <laughs> um, it's very cartoonish. It's kind of like you know. I, I love it. Up and I hold up in the head and goes gunk, 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 and then I throw the bottle <laughs> off to my side. And it's... Yay! <laughs> Marvelous. I enter, very uh, well. I I, I kind of test the um, basically the lift. I assume is what I'm seeing. Like open the door, set, make sure yeah. it's not going to collapse, and I just walk inside. Correct. Yeah. All right, so you take your first tentative step onto this ancient 
lift. And as you do so, it kind of creaks and groans, and you get that that sound of when you walk around the floorboards of an old house where the, the boards, the nail holes in the boards allow the boards to move and creak a bit. Um, that's kind of what you hear as you uh, step onto the lift, but it appears to hold up. I think it's safe, uh, fellas. Uh, I think we can uh, we can get down safely from here and check the rest of the mines. Jump up and down a few times to make sure. I jump up and down. Is there down. any pebbles just kind of on the ground? Uh, yeah. No, there's there's pebbles and rocks all over the place. I, I, I scoot my bare foot across the ground and knock a couple of pebbles into the pit and listen really hard to see how long it goes before they hit the bottom. So you knock a, a pebble uh, kind of off uh, down the shaft and you hear this kind of clank, bang, rock, tumble, fall noise for, I don't know, 20 seconds? <laughs> Uh, before it finally kind of echoes and fades away. Huh. Does anybody know how to math that? That sounds complicated. I just get on the thing. <laughs> Fair. All right. Come on, everyone. Just let's let's continue on. Time's a wasting. Uh-huh. Yep. Just just tentatively. As soon right. as he gets in, just close it. Around. Good. Take the lever and then. So, uh, you uh. The four of you get on the lift, r- uh, reach over to the lever on the side, and uh, pull it, and you hear the dwarven mechanism uh, come to life, and the elevator begins to jangle and wrangle as it begins to move down. Ah, uh, see, dwarven engineering at its finest. It is so good that a good craftsman able to sustain things. Uh, uh, Roy, did you perform for dwarves at one point, maybe? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I remember this. Uh, 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 I'm also just uh, 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 remembering that I can't actually fly, so if this falls, uh, oh boy. Uh, I, so, oh, wait a minute. You don't have... Oh, that's... That changes my... Um, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. So the, the cart begins moving down, and it travels down for a good... Uh, about a minute um, making its way down. It doesn't go particularly fast, but it does It does descend at a pretty good clip, descending into another chamber. Oh. I assume it lands with a... <laughs> it's like, huh? uh, yeah, I guess so we're here. Interestingly enough, this is not the bottom. This is oh. just where it stops next. Hmm. Uh, is that... There's, there's looks like a skeleton opening us. Is that man okay, or is he hurt? <laughs> is that man okay? Um, yeah. Over, so let me describe the, the chamber that you see. You appear to be a kind of a crossroads, kind of a mine head, where there are a bunch of different shafts going off in different directions. Um, off to the south, uh, there is a uh, large pile of crates and boxes. Um, off to one side, there's a chest down there as well. Uh, off to your uh, 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 north, there is a tunnel that just kind of winds off into the darkness. Um, there are two other tunnels off to the east, both of which also just kind of wander off into darkness. You can't really see where they go. And uh, last but not least, mentioned uh, by Shenson, there is a skeleton of a man. Uh, unlike the previous ones, which were clearly probably dwarves, um, this looks like a human skeleton that's just kind of collapsed uh, uh, next to the wall there um, and is is laying there covered in dirt and dust. He looks hurt. <laughs> he does not look like he's I, I don't think I can okay. help him. I think he's beyond. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty brave about him uh, not being a monster because he's drawn on the map. I'm going to go look. <laughs> All right. Um, you uh, get off the uh, cart and uh, uh, move over to uh, explore uh, the area. And uh, as you uh, kind of draw closer to it, um, something happens. Uh, the the first thing you feel is kind of a a, a like your stomach drops. Oh. Um, 
uh, yeah, kind of like a, you know when you're on a roller coaster and it goes over the, the top and your stomach just kind of falls out from underneath you. Um, you 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 don't feel well and you suddenly realize that the area around you is kind of glowing, like the the veins of iron in the very rock begin to kind of emit a pale green glow for just a moment. It just kind of rises. It, it's almost like a pulse that uh, rises up out of the rock and slowly fades away. And all of you are left feeling unwell. Uh, you're not sickened. That's not it. Um, you, you literally just don't feel right in the very core of your being. Huh. Nope, nope, nope. Earth isn't supposed to do that. I'm going to detect magic, see what I can find out. Um, you cast detect magic, and you are definitely getting a sense that there is uh, magic in the area. But you, the, the, the spell isn't powerful enough to give you anything more than that. There's definitely some sort of magical effect going on. Well, how's the judge's I guess there's... Yes, go ahead. Pick a direction. So, um, as you, as you kind of, Shenson, as you make your way over to the skeleton, um, the skeleton looks like it has, like, the tattered remains of a, of, like, a pair of, uh, black and silver robes on, but they're, they're really old and completely ruined, um, uh, but that, that's really kind of all you see on it. It, like the, like the stuff upstairs, it looks like it's been kind of rifled through. Can I make an attempt on a society check to re, to recall knowledge to determine what sort of robes it was wearing? Like if it was a cultist or a door-to-door -door salesperson or what? Um, you can give me a society check for that, sure. Yeah, look at that, an 11. You're not really sure. I mean, This they're... man used to wear clothes. Yeah, exactly. Um, the, the, the robes are in such poor condition um, that it makes it hard to really kind of identify anything. You're you're kind of looking at 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 the hem, and you you turn the hem over, and um, you see that embroidered in the hem is what looks like it might be a little uh, silver skull. Huh. And, and I don't know religion. This. Can I get everyone to give me a perception check, please? Oh, okay. I perceive with a fourteen. Oh, 24. Yeah, she beat it well. All right. So what do Shen my hobbit eyes see? Shenson and uh, Alana, you both pick up uh, this fact that somewhere in the distance, uh, perhaps coming from the north, you can hear what sounds like boot steps. <gasps> like what kind of like like giant boot steps or like little people boot steps or like no, it's just, boot steps? It, it, it's just the sound of you know the sound that boots make as they walk across the floor i become more interested in this barrel <laughs> and um, i say uh you guys hear that sounds like somebody's coming on down here to check out what all that ruckus is I, and I, by I, ruckus i mean us <laughs> i didn't hear anything what direction is it coming from the north. It's coming from north of us. Mm. Can I tell if it's coming closer, if it's just coming by? Definitely sounds like it's getting closer. I'll, I'll step like into the mouth of the tunnel. So the is, question is, is, do we... Is it the north that uh, Rourke is, is looking at, or the, the other one? Uh, it is the uh, passageway that's due north. Yeah, that one. Yeah, correct. This one, basically. Not the, oh, one that, not the northeast. Yeah. Uh... Rock, right and center. So do we meet them head on, or do we go down the end tunnel and hope they pass us by? So as you, as you begin to uh, get yourselves into position, come rounding the corner are a pair of skeletons. Unlike the ones uh, above, these are human-sized. However, there's something definitely wrong about them. They have tusks, um, and their skulls are kind of a, a different shape than a human skull. They're kind of uh, a bit more um, uh, rounded, and they look a little thicker. Their arms appear a little longer than a human's arms and end in kind of big, 
meaty looking fists. I mean, they're not meaty, they're actually bone, but, um, and uh, they have like very um, roughly made like leather scraps still on them. Like they're wearing like the remnants of armor. Um, and uh, both of them have these large, vicious looking curved, rusted uh, like hand blades. And uh, they are uh, marching forward in to this chamber. Oh. Uh, at that, can I get everyone yeah. to roll initiative? Woo, rolling initiative. Oh. I got a 19 for my initiative. Back to the right. Got a 12. Good, good. I think we're missing, uh, click on your token, remember, uh, for Lana and stuff. Click your token and then do initiative so they can get at it in there. Hey, there two. Can we count that 17 instead? <laughs> right now I have to sort out where everyone's initiative was because I now have duplicates of everyone in the system. Um, it, it is normal for us, but yeah, yeah you no worries. Are, you, you get to suffer. Yeah, I'll figure it out. All right. Uh, uh I think I have you all in order now. Uh, uh, to help you out, Jason, we can just all go first. Oh, well, uh, as it turns out, that's what you're doing anyway, because my initiative was garbage. Okay. Yay! Um, so it doesn't really matter. Um, all right, let me get this out of my way. There it is. Okay. So these uh, these two skeletons uh, uh, come into the room. Alana and Rourke, you're both tied with a 17. Uh, which one of you would like to go first? Um, can you mind if I go first? Yeah, go ahead. Done. Lorne. All right. Lorne, you are up. Excellent. I see, obviously, I see a couple of skelly boys coming my way. I'm like, well, I remember last time I shot at uh, the undead. It didn't do very well. So how about this? Let's try another acid splash. Huzzah! I shoot out. That is a 26. Because I roll like a 19. Whoa. Plus all my stuff. Just bam! Acid splash straight at him. In the critical damage so the, week twelve, the front one in front is what I'm aiming at. Yeah, the uh, the uh, glob of acid slams into that skeleton, and it melts right away yeah. into a pile of goo. It never gets stacked. It just uh, comes around the corner and gets hit with acid and collapses. Also, Jason, to help you out with your initiative thing, so you don't have to delete tokens, just do the like status effects, like the overlay stuff, and just do the X, so you know it's dead, and so it doesn't mess up your initiative order. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. It's all good. There's a lot of tips for roll 20. We're all getting it together. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll figure We're it all out. All learning together. Yay. And it's like chat. school. Yeah. With the chat's help, we'll have a really awesome time. So thank you, chat, by the way, for like giving us advice and stuff. Yeah, it'll work out great. We'll, we'll, we'll get this. <laughs> and, all uh, right. That was my two actions. Uh, and for my last action, I'm going to uh, just cash it on myself. So boom, now I have one AC. Fantastic. All right. Uh, that was Lorne. Next up, Rourke. <clears throat> I'll say, uh, well done, Lorne. Yeah, thanks. And I will... I'm going to move to the edge of the light here. Okay. Uh, and uh, I do have low light vision, so I don't know if I can see it. Oh, you can see it or... quite well. Yeah. Can I see where the other skelly guy is? Yeah, you can see him. I'm gonna dance for him. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Look at me! All right. Uh, so you begin to dance, and oh. that does quite well. That is a success. <laughs> cool, that was almost a one. <laughs> that scared oh, the crap heart, out of me. My heart stopped. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so that is a success. You get your panache. Okay. It's not a critical success. I get my panache. Yes, uh, and then I will. I do have. I do have um, the um, uh, a swashbuckler feat that means I succeed on a success. I don't need a critical success to fascinate. I fascinate oh. on a regular. So he's oh, right fascinated. As, All right. As, as much as that does, and I will raise my buckler. All right. Um. So, uh, you raise up your buckler. You have uh, performed and are waiting for the skeleton. All right, Elana. All right, I am going to move uh, 15, 25 a little bit closer. 
I'm pretty sure that my crossbow will do no damage, so I'm going to do my best to slow this guy down and cast Tanglefoot. All right. More Tanglefoot comes sweeping out. And that is going to be a hit. As we're doing, I'm also noticing majority of the D20s have been landing on my token. Like, I'm just imagining getting crushed by multiple giant D20s. <laughs> like, Jack, Indiana Jones style as they come rolling at you. <laughs> nice, guy. Oh, and just a 20. Me. If we roll low, can you, like, push it from below and make it a better roll for us? No. No, we can't. <laughs> All right. Um, Shenson. Oh. Hi. Um, I am going to suddenly decide to be a little bit more brave, and I'm going to come up to here. I'm going to start bard performance, and right. uh, I will get out my bow. All right. So you move, you begin performing, and uh, you uh, 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 break out your bow. And yeah. uh, your uh, song is echoing uh, down the uh, corridor uh, in all directions. Yeah, we're here, we're in the room, come get us! The other skeleton steps up uh, over the bones of his dead companion and is going to uh, swing his uh, uh, weapon at Rourke. Nope. How about an attack roll? There we go. There you go. Armor Ooh. class 23, I'm assuming, is going to hit. Yes, it will hit. For four damage. I'm going to shield block that. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I think that's going to reduce it down to zero, right? Actually, uh, oh, I only have a um, a buckler. So oh, you only have a buckler. Three, so All I right, will two. take a one point, and so will my. Fantastic. Uh, with its final action, it's going to uh, swing at you with a uh, claw with its other hand, and that is going to be a fourteen, which I'm going to wager is a miss. Yeah, his AC uh, is pretty is high. Yeah. All right. Uh, at the end of the round, the singing almost, almost obscures their approach, but not quite. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. oh, gosh! Oh, no! What Boiling. is this? Boiling out of the passageways behind you is a veritable swarm of rats. But unlike ordinary rats, these have no flesh. They are merely piles of animate bone in rat shape, swarming forward, boiling out of the passageways toward you. Oh, we could make a stew out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Put that in a pot. That's no. You got yourself a stew. All right. Uh, <laughs> yep. okay. Just bo boil them, smash them, stick them in some stick stews. Stew. Undead rat potions. Here we come. That's okay. There. But dead rats, uh, swabs behind us all. Everyone, just kill the skeleton and turn around. Oh, you can handle him. You got magic. Ah, just... Um, <laughs> obviously, I know my character's turning to shoot at the rats. All right. So the uh, the rats are unfortunately going to go first. Uh, I'll say that they spend their first actions moving to those positions. Uh, this second... Uh, with their second actions, we'll figure that out from here. All right. So this rat is... Let's see. What's their speed? It's probably, oh, yeah. One, wow, two. wow. Oh, no, no. The rats are going to uh, come up and swarm around uh, Lorne and are going to attempt to bite him. And I by that, I mean they're going to bite him <laughs> because they're I, a swarm. I scream so, in fear. Take four points of damage. Ah. Uh. The other swarm, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, not quite close enough. He's going to move and envelop no. uh, the other characters, but it does not have any actions left to attack. That is the end of its turn. Lorne, it is your action. 
the undead rats have swarmed up around the group and ah. are literally everywhere, climbing up your clothes, like skittering uh. up towards your soft, ah. you know, delicious eyes. No, not my eyes, my brand. I cast electric arc. <laughs> Get off of me. <laughs> All right, you cast Electric Arc, arcing between the two swarms of rats. Um, that is, uh, let's see, I'm going to need to roll reflex saves. Yep, roll a reflex save. You got to beat a 17. And you got a 16. Suck it, rats. I win. Fail on the first oh, one. Oh, oh. Success on the second one. One of the swarms is going to take a little bit of damage, but it looks like just with the skeletons up above, these bony uh, rat bodies do not uh, succumb to electricity as much so uh, but one of them did take some damage and, uh, and for my final action I'll cast shield I don't think it matters I think they all hit anyway so but regardless shield all right uh, so uh, that is Lauren's turn Alana there are rats everywhere <laughs> everywhere and they're undead yes I'm going to cast heal. You're going to do the three action version? I am. I'm going to use it. I'm going to cast heal to attack the undead rats. All right. Um, you blast off a heal. Uh, it's energy washing over literally every creature within range. Um, you got a six. Uh, let me start by rolling uh, a, uh, what's that, a fortitude save for the uh, skeletons? Yeah, yes. they need to beat 16. So, uh, let me start off with the skeleton. Ah! Ah, I got a four. Ah! Or six ah! total. Crumbles. The holy fire washes over the skeleton and literally blasts it to ash. Oh! Let me roll for the other two. The first swarm is going to make it and will only take three. The second swarm is going to make it as well. Both you of them should use a repellent point to re-roll that. Mm, nah. All you right. can roll uh, better than a 19. <laughs> Get um, back, you unnatural creatures! <laughs> <laughs> On the upside, they do take additional damage from area of area attacks, which this certainly counts as. So uh, they will take a little bit extra damage. Yay! Yay! Did that heal right. me as well, by any chance? No, that just... did actually. Oh, to me. That healed oh, me. everyone. Nice. Six Ooh. points of damage. Good job, Andy. Alana. Good decisions. I wave around my feet slightly. That was very exhausting. That was an excellent performance, a lot of good. All right. And I just throw one off. <laughs> very well done. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't talk to them. They're not normal. They're not living. And of course, y'all just keep purging them. Just keep destroying all of them. To do that again. <laughs> Continue with the purging. All right. Um. So uh, the uh, the uh, two uh, orc skeletons are both destroyed. Uh, that blast uh, destroyed the second one that was coming up the corridor. The uh, both of these swarms of undead rats are still up and fighting. That was Alana's turn. Rourke. Oh, I am afraid I'm not going to be very effective here. I will take a step forward, uh, squawk in sort of disgust as I mm, bend over to peck at these undead rats with my beak. Oh. Oh. <laughs> End up with mouthfuls of little bones. <laughs> You're singing, right, James? Yeah, of course. Are you dancing? Uh, no, I already have panache. Oh, well, I'm singing anyway. Oh, oh, Kaylee, why does every single one of your 3D dice almost land on one? The point is that it doesn't land on one. Uh, uh, it's a 15 to, to hit, uh, awesome. but only three damage. I got it. Uh, I got it all. Uh, a 15 will hit. Um, however, three points of piercing damage fails to do any damage to this one. Are, are they immune to precision damage? They are. 
I, I figured as much. So, yeah. I do nothing! Hooray! I'll try. Trying again? Yes. Very good. Go ahead right, and uh, give me another roll. Here we go. Oh, hey. Uh, that's that's with the minus. Oh, that's going to hit. But, uh, but, but two I only do piercing two damage. damage. <laughs> yeah. Still not enough. You're a. Ah! You're like pecking at rats like a like a like a chicken eating feed and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and like little rat bones go flying everywhere, but it just doesn't have any effect on the swarm as a whole. Um, ah! and, and that is the end of Shenson's turn, or sorry, Wait. Rourke's turn. Wow, that was Shenson. that was frightening. Um, <laughs> so I will look at Rourke's pointy pointy beak and then look yes. at my pointy pointy arrows and then I just drop my bow. Um, I will get out my scimitar and yes. keep singing and right. stab the rats. Slash at the rats. Slashing at the rats. Very good. Yeah, because I'm sure that'll work a lot better. And especially if I've do. got this. It, it's because it's got sweep. I just sweep up the rats, right? That's how that works, right? Yeah, it's just like a broom. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's a 21 with nine damage, nine slashing. Uh, 21 is going to hit. Nine slashing does do some damage. And this Hooray. is the one that you're engulfed in, correct? Absolutely. This one right, right here. Uh, so um, it looks very badly hurt, but it is still fighting. There are significantly fewer rats, but there are enough to climb in your clothes and up your legs. And Ugh. Ugh. All right. Uh, so that's Bard you song. Have... Get out the sword. Yep. No, I, that's the, I got up the sword oh. and, the off and stabbed. There you are. Very good. Uh, unfortunately, now the rats get to go. Um, so, uh, uh, delightfully, uh, the uh, uh, rats are just going to bite again and again and again. This does um, bite. You're right. So, uh, we're going to start with the one that's on Lorne. No, no. And uh, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to roll a uh, 3D, or I'm going to roll a D6, a D6, and a D6. And I need you to make a fortitude a reflex save against each one to take half or less damage. Uh, Ready? And one. Got yeah, a 21 on the first one. And then uh, a 19 on the second one. Is fortitude or reflex? Reflex, right? Reflex. Okay, cool. Yep. Last one, 23. I'm a number wizard. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> so you take only three points of damage as you like caper and dance away from the rats. <laughs> oh, the wizard that. is dance. the wizard is not deterred. Suck it, swat! <laughs> ah, ah, rat, and throw a rat <laughs> off of me. Uh, like Jason, what beard? <laughs> what's the chance that his, his spastic rat dance is going to make him fall into that pit that he's standing next to? Well, I mean, you know, he didn't roll a one, so we'll, oh, okay. we'll say he's pretty safe right now. Okay, All right. Uh, let's go to the other. We'll teach you to one. dance yet, Lauren. <laughs> I think you. <laughs> I'd throw a rat to, <laughs> to Rourke. Like, no, ah, get that one. So, uh, Alana and Shenson, the two of you are in a rat swarm, and it's going to bite uh, both of you a whole bunch. You will need to make reflex saves as well. Here's the first die. Can you both please make a reflex save? You can do it, everyone. Just dance like you well, know nobody. Just dance like it's prom night on a lonely night. You, <laughs> you both succeed and only take three points of damage as the rats bite at you. Uh, but they do back unnatural creatures. Yeah, they like they like crawl up your pants. They'll bite you through them. They'll claw. They climb up to wrists and ears, and they, they're just kind of trying uh. to swarm up over you. Um, they do continue to bite. It's going to be another four, but you get another reflex save. You're doing good, Shenson. You're going to fail. Take the four. Uh, I'm I'm gonna use a, a hero to reroll that. Great, go right ahead. Wait, are you still playing? Oh well, well, no, that can work. Too. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. All right, you, both of you take half of that as well, so you only take two. And then with my last action, big surprise, continue to bite. That's all these things do. Another six. Wow, my dice rolls are powerful tonight. So I can I do another hero point, or is that once per turn? 
You can do another hero point. It's only once per roll. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that because that 12 is looking mighty nasty. Yeah, it's fine. Next a little better. Five. My feet are bare and I do not like the texture of undead rats under my toe. So, I am I am truly impressed. The three of you made all nine of the reflex saves. Uh, oh. And uh, so you only take three points of damage on that. Uh, hey. And uh, you have managed to survive their swarm attacks. Excellent. Thank That's... you to the chat for all of the hero points. <laughs> yeah, no joke. I, um, as, uh, as they're dancing to the rat, like, excellent, use those dance practices that we rehearsed. Yes, dance around <laughs> the rats. <laughs> and one, and two, and step ball change. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> remember, remember your third line now. Now, now oh, it's my part now. Go ahead. So, uh, uh, capering and dancing about. Um, oh, hey, actually, yeah, uh, uh, Lana, actually, uh, you got a nat 20, so you take no damage from that uh, save, by the way. Uh, yes. Thanks, Stay Jeff. back, you foul beast. Oh, that's nice. It does green. Okay, cool. I can pick that out. Okay, fantastic. Uh, all right. Uh, so, uh, that would be the end of the rat's turn. Uh, thanks for pointing that out, chat. Uh, Lorne, it is now you. It's now my turn. Good. I wish to, uh, see if I can do a steppy out of there so the rats can hopefully not kill me and not have an attack of opportunity to just do it a step. And then I'm just going to go, all right, time them out, all of you creatures. Acid splash. <laughs> I know that's not going to hit. So I'm going to use a hero point to get a buffed up 20. 21. That or 21, yeah. Uh, the acid slams into the swarm and it melts. <laughs> The rats, the, the few skeletal rats that survive the caustic blast um, go skittering off into the darkness. You can hear their tiny bony paws as they scratch along the cavern floor and disappear off into the darkness. That is Lauren's turn. Alana, it is now your turn. I'm I'm going to dance back and out of the swarm, and I am tired and stressed and out of spells. So I'm going to swing my staff down into them. All right. A hero point. A hero point. <laughs> so I'm going. I'm freaking out. So I'm going to swing a second time and use this hero point to swing again. Burn those points. <laughs> A 13 is unfortunately... Wait, does that include the plus one from Bardic Song? Probably, or we yeah. Do... No, no it, it, that's then? not. It would be yeah, a 14. 14. 14. A 14 will hit. Yay, Bardic Song! Oh, get back. And that means you do four points of damage, which is coincidentally exactly... How many hit points I had left? Yay! All right. Oh, um, we've done it. I will, I will dejectedly pick my bow back up and shake Rat off of it. <laughs> I was desperately looking up the rules for shield bash. See if I could. I'm <laughs> <laughs> going to shake bits of bone and flesh out of my clothes yeah. and out from between my toes, and I'm I'm kind of gonna scrape them against the ground. And Ooh. this is I'm a gonna, very uncomfortable. I'm gonna start casting Prestidigitation and get Rat dirt off of me. Uh, yeah, no, that's fair, because there's, like, rat grave soil all over all of you. Uh, <laughs> so, sanitary. Uh, yeah, no, it's real gross. Um, the last of these these rats dies away, but oddly enough, like, even now, far off in the distance, you can hear the sound of bones rattling and clattering in the distance, but there doesn't appear to be any more here. Hmm. Well, everyone, I... How that we've uh, just dust myself on. Now that we've taken care of that situation, I do believe that uh, we still have more. I, I, I can't recall it. Where is that sound coming from again? Uh, from the you, north. You actually the, north, okay. the 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 sound of the bones is kind of all over the. Place. That actually okay. sounds like it's in a lot of different directions. I well, I propose that uh, we continue uh, up this northern pass. And obviously, things came out of that way, and I but, suspect there should be more there. And that's where the swarms did not come out of. Uh, the one but up before here. Before we, before we do that, I want to go look over here at this very treasure chest-looking piece of decoration. 
just like a light there for him. Is the wall still pulsing? The gross um, green light? So that, interestingly enough, kind of faded away. Um, mm -hmm. You don't see that anymore. Um, it was only briefly for like that one moment. And it, 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 it faded in kind of like in the span of this. Just kind of faded, faded out. And that, that was it. Then it was gone. It, it was literally for like two or three seconds. Hmm. I'm sure it's I, fine. I scrape my nail against it, gently look at it. Can I roll a nature, a knowledge nature? Uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, that's a good roll. Twenty-five. I am suspicious. What's going on? So the thing that you immediately realize, you, you kind of scratch away at the stone and, uh, you know, there's these veins of iron running through it. And the thing that you take away from it after kind of scratching off a bit and smelling it and kind of looking at the rock around it is this all looks pretty ordinary. I mean, mines aren't ordinary things to begin with, but the, you don't see anything about it that's inherently wrong or, or incorrect. There's just... It's just this weird aura that passed through it, and now it appears to be gone. Mm. Uh, Shenson, you make your way over to the chest. Yeah, um, it's chest. The lock of this chest looks like it's been smashed, oh. um, and and like hit with like like somebody took like the back of an axe and just like bashed the lock like right off. The wood around it looks like it just tore away in a chunk. So that the uh, the lock is now just like r laying in a rusted heap next to the chest. I'm gonna dejectedly kind of flip the lid open with my toe. All right, you you flip the lid open, and inside, um, it looks like this is filled with like mining supplies. So, um, but unlike um, kind of uh, you know just like tools and stuff, this looks like slightly more valuable stuff. So there's like lanterns in here and pints of oil that look just coated in dust and grime. And uh, as you're doing that, um, you suddenly hear a voice huh, fall a out. Voice. From... Like a genie's voice giving me wishes? No, not like a genie's voice. Oh. You hear a rather kind of dejected sounding man say, there's nothing in there. They took it already. Ha! Ha! Ghost! And I immediately what? just hide behind Alana. Yeah, so, uh, uh, like, uh, hi. emerging hi. from the skeleton is this transparent figure. Um, it looks like a human man wearing dark colored robes, maybe black, but the, the figure doesn't really have color associated with it. It's more like grayscale. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell, but wearing dark robes uh, with a uh, little uh, skull embroidery down the hem. And uh, the skeleton, or sorry, not skeleton, the, the ghostly figure uh, just kind of looks at all of you with kind of a tired weariness and was like, you won't find anything. They already took anything of value. Oh, I'm gonna be- Who's they? He shrugs. How should I know? They wouldn't talk to me. I'm going to go up to him and say, uh, sorry that you turned into a skeleton. Is there something we can do to help? You you're, you seem a little bit more... He know. looks at you with, like, wide eyes. He's like, wait! I'm dead? No, you're talking to us. You're not technically you dead. Just he, ask someone why they're dead. His expression suddenly shifts. He's like, of course I know I'm dead. And he like knocks at your head. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down at his body and he's like, I have eyes, you know. <laughs> well, they're ghost eyes. I mean, I don't, I've never been a ghost. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. Well, that much is obvious. <laughs> uh... What are you doing here? You're just going to get yourself killed. You should flee now while you have the chance. We're we're the band of Bravos. We don't get killed. We get results. I, hey, uh... he looks Ooh, at like you, Lorne. Lorne. Lorne, as you move into that square, he's like, "Hey, what hey, are you trying to do to his body?" I, 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 I'm respect. not. I'm not standing on the skeleton. I'm just like st my people like like one leg over one leg kind of deal. Just kind of standing. Fine, fine, whatever. Yeah, hello. 
that's very disrespectful. He's oh, like, he's, he's, he's not like, using it. That we, what do you mean I'm not using it? <laughs> what are you getting done with that bow? I mean, look, 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 besides the point, besides the point, we are here, oh, we are assigned by the, the bright crown fellow who now rules over these lands. I'm pretty sure it's a different name when you were alive. That, um... Ooh. We are. We have come here to help clear the place out, and I would greatly appreciate it. And I once more apologize. I can't like do a bell. I'm just like, eh, sorry about that. Uh, about to step into or nearly your corpse thing. Uh, would you be so kind as to assist us on possibly warning us of what we might be up against? He just kind of shakes his head. Listen, it it won't matter. You 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 don't have long. It, it'll kill you just like it killed me. It, it doesn't matter. What what would be you're the thing you're just... describing that would kill you? Describe to me the thing that killed you. Uh, he kind of shrugs. Did you see the green pulse? Yes, yes. yes. You've got a few more of those before it kills you. Oh. Hmm. Can you tell us what it is? Uh, well, I mean, I... Uh, it's... Uh, it's complicated, but it, it, suffice to say, it's a, it's a powerful magic, and and uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's you know, it's it's fine. It, uh, mistakes were made, and he just kind of shrugs, and he's just like, listen, it's not a big deal. Uh, you should probably just don't worry about it. I mean, I, I mean, worry session? about it. You should you should go. <laughs> he looks he looks vaguely like. He, he oddly looks like suddenly very guilty about the whole thing and he's just kind of like oh. did you dig I too deep into the mine and unleash an unfortunate evil upon the world um can I try to use diplomacy to to basically uh, say hey it's okay we're we're not gonna we're here to last and we're not only gonna fix your problem we'll make sure that your bones will get nice and buried and we'll not tell anyone that you did something bad down here to turn on he's the like, green no, don't Bury me, good lord! <laughs> well, whatever horrible. you would like, we could. We I could... can't leave this. And he points at the skull. If you bury it, I'll be stuck underground. It'd be awful. <laughs> well, we could carry the skull around and, and help you like uh, see the sights. Wouldn't that be nice? Really? Yeah. Yeah, we could put you on the top of this stick, and then you can see everything above high. No, we wouldn't. We won't put you on a stick. You're not a party favor. Oh, no, we'll no, carry no, you this... around respectfully. Yes, well, on I mean, the I stick. Did, I did. We'll put a pillow on it. Well, uh, that doesn't sound too bad. You, you'd actually help me? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You help us? We uh, help we you. Want... And I need a we friend in this world. I just have one question. Uh, yeah. well, I just have a question, ghost friend. Ghost friend there. Um, they... How do you feel about the stage? He looks at you. <gasps> I'm... I'm not much of a performer, I'm afraid of. I, I come to my, my, put my talents hand, lie elsewhere. I put my arm around him, going, "I like the way you think. We could <laughs> finally pull off that play." <laughs> he, exactly. He he kind of looks at all of you and he says, "Well, um, can somebody give me a diplomacy check?" Yeah, I'll try it. Uh, we I have a plus four, unless someone has someone better. I got plus seven. You got. Can it. I? Can I? Can I can I, uh... You have a hero point if that doesn't work or something. But uh, I uh, Jason wanted to do a thing, I believe. Or oh, oh, no, never mind. I was going to aid, but I forgot how hard it was. <laughs> <laughs> <Can't be> a... <laughs> I mean, you might as well try to aid. I don't think there's a downside of you failing. I'll no, there, there is. There oh, absolutely okay. is. Yeah, okay. okay. So uh, he kind of weighs it, and he's like, well... Uh, I mean, it might allow me to finally rest if we finally caged it. Yeah, yeah. He, he kind of looks around and he's like, well, this seems like a risk. I mean, if, if this goes poorly, I could end up at the bottom of a well or something stupid. Uh, or if I it goes well, you can get out of here with us. Uh, all right. And, Fine. and I'll tell, I'll give you this. If if whoever, which of us is carrying you at the time that we get laid low, we'll make sure to die in a way that your skull lands with a great view. Oh, well, all right then. Yeah. <laughs> the name's Grisfell. Well, Man. hello, Grisfell. I'm Shenson. Uh, and, I, I am Lorne, to... and I'm Lorne Barnes. Nice to meet you. Now, now be gentle. I, I, I've never had my head removed. 
before. The the last group just they ignored me and started swinging swords at me, so I I fled. I mean, as Those best I can. Those people sound awful. Well, they're probably dead, so they deserve sure. it. Yes. Well, we'll I see if we can so. be as careful as we can. Can I do a knowledge medicine to carefully remove his skull? Oh yeah, Ooh, that'd be great. Good call. Excellent done. Let's. You are not oh, allowed to make medicine. medicine checks. You are fired. <laughs> <laughs> you are fired from medicine. I, I I carefully reach over to the skull and I my foot shifts and rolls on his thigh bone and I kind of fall and take the skull with me. So you like you like collapse into his corpse, trip wait, wait, into his bones are shattered and broken, and wait, he's just wait, like, what? Wait, you have a hero point. Use the hero wait, point. Wait. We can hero point this unless I make it a one again. Yeah, oh no, wait, done. I have a cl- Please don't try anything testy. You just tried and we're all gonna die because the bones will explode. Uh, uh, I hope so. You no, have assurance? It's a, it's, it's a feat. I have assurance, it's a feat. It's 10 plus my proficiency bonus. <laughs> yes. So uh, that's going I to be 10 plus. Not. Yeah. All right. 16. So uh, Yeah, all right. So, uh, <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> wait, Damn wait, it. you had bonuses the entire time when oh, I was dying? Uh, I'm going hilarious. to strangle you, Halfley. <laughs> that's, that's just, this just tension. It's dramatic uh, license that you... makes the excitement of everything happen much more organically. So yeah, it's, she's just uh... doing her job. First session, everybody. <laughs> I proceed. To, are, I'm just angry and I just just sit across no. every time. So, um, after knocking, I, I, I duck slightly behind the skull. After knocking aside some of the bones and it looks like you're about to trip into the whole thing, you kind of gracefully step over it and pluck the skull. And he's like, oh, oh. and you see him just for a moment be like, ah. and he kind of looks and he he, he he looks at you, Alan, and he's like, now be careful with that. That's that's. That's all I have left. <laughs> uh, I have a, actually I have a question. Uh, when you see and look around the room, are you looking at it, the skull eyes or your ghost eyes? He kind of looks at you and he's like, uh, he's like, I, I think I'm seeing out of my ghostly eyes. I just can't go very far away from the skull as much as I'll, I've tried. I'll hold up my hand with uh, three, three fingers up. How many numbers is this? And then I'll start moving my fingers around. He's like... He looks at you and he's like, I'm confused by your living ways. It's three, you numbskull. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, look, oh, we, look at you we, using we, skull insults. We have yeah. this, yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, what's his name one more time? Because I suck at names. It's Grisfell. Grisfell? Okay. Uh, okay, Grisfell. Um, would you like to be placed on top of this staff? It's very, it's like a kind of from a very fine oak that I got from my old family tree. We could settle you in it just fine in there. And I'm very careful with the staff. I never bash anybody with this, so you'll be able to see forward and everything else. What about Me? all the skeletons you were smashing with it earlier? I did not smash a single skeleton with this staff. Now you shut up. He's oh. like, if you use my skull as a weapon, I will be quite put out. I promise you, guaranteed, I will not use this staff for any offensive capabilities. This is now your home to see the heights of the world. He looks at you and he says, so to be clear, when you're dead and a ghost like me stuck in here, um, we'll see the sights of the world together and that we'll be stuck in one room. It'll be great. All right. Yes. So it's like a buddy comedy. You've never had a friend like me. So let's go. Ah, uh, he's like, I don't know about this, but well, I guess it's probably better than just sitting there forever. <laughs> oh, it Take certainly chance. is. Take a chance at undead life all right well if it, we should probably get moving if 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 we don't put it in its place soon enough you'll all be dead and then i'll be right back where i started well Actually. you'll be where you eat drop you so that's not technically where you started yes but i meant lost and abandoned in this damnable mine <laughs> uh yeah i guess that's that's a good point yeah, so too. you yeah, you ahead. don't know your way around. You said lost, so you don't know like the layout of the mine or anything like that. He he says, "Well, it's been an awfully long while since I've wandered these halls." So who was who I, was the ruler of Cheliax when you died? Oh, 
uh, he kind of uh, I don't remember. He was quite the loyal chap to Aradin. Um Oh, oh, oh. Um, all right, that's fine. Uh, let's just keep exploring then. <laughs> Nothing happened. He's like, what do you mean? No, no, no. It's good. It's good. Well, we got a mine to look through. I oh, didn't ask. All right. Well, uh, very well. Um, why? What year is it? Uh, it's today. So which way should we go? I'm trying to distract him from like being too curious and like maybe up here there's like uh maybe there's treasure up here or like a new new skeleton for you to sit on he's like, like a no. shiny one with gemstones oh like make a giant we could get you a big tall skeleton with with that's like, extra not, ribs. like that's not how this works we aren't just you can't just reassemble now oh, you're going the wrong way <laughs> oh what's the right way this way up here he's like well listen if you're if you're going to put the stone Back in its cage, we're going to have to go to my laboratory. Okay, okay, that sounds good. That's a good idea. Why didn't you tell us about that in the first place? Yeah, yeah, what she said. But you didn't ask. We. Uh, good point. Where's your laboratory? <laughs> He's like. Oh, well, I, I also like how you say it, like laboratory. It it's, makes it sound really classy. It's it's up it's up this way, and he uh, he uh, points up in can, that direction. Can he have like like Bob the Skull from Dresden just like fire in his eyes so he can kind of indicate a little bit? That sounds nope. like product identity though. No, I mean, the the ghost can point, you're looking at the oh, skull I'm, and he's I'm, like, I, I have think, hands. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking he no longer has a ghost form and then went in the skull. Okay, he's I, like, I don't, why are you talking to the skull? My eyes are over here. <laughs> I just want, I'm practicing for the act. So, so I assume dude. we go down the uh, the path here to get to the laboratory. Mm, laboratory fancy i bet it's covered with like fancy curtains and there's like a cheese plate oh is there a cheese plate in your laboratory uh he he says if there is it's probably gone bad i can't I, it's been years come let no, us it's go been only a couple hours you're fine come on everyone let's go all right so um you begin making yourself your way up in that direction and uh i i want to note that uh there is actually quite a bit of distance that you travel but to keep life simple, uh, uh, we are going to uh, move the map forward. Ooh, cool. Okay. I don't want to be in the dark. So the uh, ghost uh, wanders along with you, uh, oh, wait, and he's sorry. like, up ahead here uh, is the, the door to my laboratory. Now, I, I doubt anyone's been in there. There's a ward. Uh, sealing it, if I could only remember the name. Mm. Uh, and he kind of stops and scratches his head a bit. Like, ah, Got I, any hints? Uh, well, it was my uncle's dog. Um, uh, uh, dog. Was, was it Lorne? Was the dog's name Lorne? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, whoever has the skull, he's always within 10 feet of you. Cool. So he, is the he... skull on the staff, or am I still carrying it? I think I took it and put it on the staff, because he seemed to accept with it. So he's on top of that. I, like, got some rope and stuff, and, like, trying to make it cushiony with some, like, you know, wads of, like, an old robe or something that is clean, and, like, made it cushiony for him. And that light spell you cast on your staff earlier is shooting out of his eyes. Yeah, it's all like, oh, rad. It's like a flashlight. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's he's like now that's actually kind of a nice effect. I actually kind of like that. But uh, ooh, ooh, when the light comes uh, out of his skull sockets, does it go whoa? And and <laughs> so we'll he's standing... after some dancing lights later and make it colorful. Oh yeah. He's uh, he's standing up near the door and he's like, okay, so. I, I remember what the password is, but it's a it's a secret, and I don't want to tell you. So you'll you'll have to move away a bit so I can I can whisper it at the door. Okay, I bring the skull to the door, even though I know the ghost forms right there. He looks at you and he's like, "We've been over this." <laughs> <laughs> I got to. I take it back. <laughs> what what is wrong with you? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just a genius. Continue. He he kind of looks at the rest of the party and he's just like, "I don't." Know. Is is he all right? I, I, we're I mean, we're not this sure. This is normal carry on. I, all yeah. right. Oh, don't say the word carry on around him. 
I'm not that <laughs> sensitive. <laughs> He uh, now he he looks back and at this point he he almost looks kind of nervous. He's like, so uh, I'm 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 a little worried. Yes. What have you been dabbling in? We're not. Well, you know, listen, listen. I'm I'm a little worried that you're going to see my lab and assume uh, all sorts of things. Oh, we, we don't assume anything. Yeah. Yeah, we just assume that it's nice and clean and you're a decent person who has no terrible experiments in there. If the cheese plate actors, this turned bad, you know we will we will call assume. it this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But 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 understand that um I I I want you to understand that that it's worse than it looks and um uh, in reality my research was to explore the nature of the boundary between life and death and it wasn't it wasn't like, you know, I mean, I wear the robes, but, you know, I'm not actually, uh, you know. Did you say it's worse than it looks? No, it's not as bad as it looks. It's, it, uh, it, it, huh. it's worse than it. It's it's not as bad as it looks. I, I, I might I'm going gonna, gonna to assume my character's dense, and can I roll either an arcana or an oculism to kind of gauge what he's talking about? So if you can see uh, the sure. Yeah, give me an arcana check. There's a 17. Um, well, you're pretty sure he's he's talking about necromancy. Oh, excellent. I would love to hear your theories on him. Well, mm. I, I, so that's why I was here. Mm-hmm. I, I, and, and, and I hired the miners to, to come here and excavate this place. Uh-huh. And, and I'm just worried that when we go into the lab, you're going to see things and then you're going to be like, this guy is evil. And then you're going to leave my skull in a in a in a dustbin or something. Well, don't be evil, and we won't leave your skull anywhere. Well, I mean, easy, I'm, I'm, easy. I, I, yes, but is there something waiting for us in the lab? Is there some sort of like like zombie bear owl type thing in there? Because no. I've, I've noticed that there's certain creatures that I usually fight, and they're like skeletons and spiders and bear owls. Like they keep showing up. I don't know what you're talking about, but I, I, that's I, probably pretty I, best. I can... I can rest. I can assure you that there are no uh, foul undead in there. I mean, and, and unless you think I'm foul, do I smell? He kind of looks at you. I can't uh, every- smell. So do I have a smell? I smell the skull. Kind of nah, smells it smells bad. It smells like yeah, it smells like you're dead. <laughs> okay. All right. All this talk about the laboratory being creepy. I'm sort of like uh, maybe uh, I'll go over here. Okay. Well, I I just. Okay. Let's close well, the door. Right. So he, he he leans up to the door and you hear him whisper something, but you don't quite make out what it is. Can I do a and, perception check uh, to see if I hear it? Uh, sure. Oh, I want to do that too. That is a twenty-two. I'm a snoop. Twenty-three. I'm snoopier than the snoop. <gasps> How dare you? How dare you out snoop the snoop? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, so, uh, you, you listen very carefully and it sounds like he said Esmeralda. Uh. Aww. And the door quietly swings open. Come on, oh, I ghost. Sit there. I enter inside. And he, uh, kind of wanders off to one side and he's like, ah, yes, I, uh, He's like, did I actually leave it like this? He's kind of looking around. I haven't been in here in a long time. I don't really... Hmm. He's kind of like, it's awfully a mess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this isn't the laboratory. This was the sitting room. Oh, it's fine. What? It's fine. Are are the chairs... Just, wait, wait. So is that star thing, that's a statue. Is that a creepy statue or is it like a friendly statue? So the uh, statue is actually... Um, looks an awful lot like the ghost. <laughs> um, oh. it, looks like, it looks like Grisfeld. Interesting. He's like did the you, dwarves. What? Did you make a statue of yourself? No, no, no. The dwarves gave it to me as a gift. Uh-huh. I, I, yeah, I it's, call it's the statue. shenanigans. <laughs> we I had, had a very... Percent. We had a very uh, 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 lucrative arrangement. All I wanted was a path to reach the Elan core. Um, Elan core. The dwarves could keep all the ore. I didn't really care about that. 
I do an arc kind of do an arcana check to see if I know what a Elam core is. Uh, sure. Can I try an occultism check? I got a twenty-six. Yes. My occultism check. Ooh, that will tell me everything. I'm sure. So the the occultism check. Uh, you're not sure what that is. It may be some sort of dessert. Um, oh, ooh, it's better than cheese plate. Lorn pumpkin pie. Um, it's pumpkin pie. You don't. <laughs> You de you have no idea what an Elon core is. However, uh, the word Elon means um, vitality or like soul. I think. Uh, hmm. But you have no idea what the context is. It doesn't. Yeah, it, it, not this ring a bell. I can't put two and two together. But I can only assume it's like he obviously needed this for necromancy. And, uh, mm. and obviously, it's more than likely affecting all of this. Then, right, is well, I... Go ahead. Uh, so I know you get confused with the skull and the ghost. I hope the statue adding a third potential uh, version of this guy isn't too confusing to you. <laughs> I look to the statue and, like I'm talking to it. Going, ah, this the Elon core is the thing causing everything in the mines, correct? Uh, well, that's. Uh... He, he, he suddenly looks at you and his eyes go wide. He says, oh, uh, who said anything about that? I, uh, that, uh, how would you know about that? Well, you keep terrible secrets for the dead. Nah, well, I mean, what's it going to do to you to tell us? Was it written on the back of my skull? What, where'd you read that? <laughs> I mean, we're going to find out anyway, because, like, eventually one of us is going to go open, like, this door over here and uh, look at your dirty secrets. So well, you might as well tell us now. Do you open the door? I Wait. can't resist it. I do it. I open the door. Th there's Wait, a question mark. I cover my eyes for the explosion. <laughs> oh, the so, corner. I found a corner, guys. Ah, the most. So, <laughs> even worst. Shenson goes and opens up the door. Meanwhile, um. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, Lauren, you're sitting there staring at the statue, trying to decide which one you should talk to. And the moment the door opens, the statue shakes off a layer of dust and begins to move. Oh, ah, yeah. Ah, close the door. Close the door. Close the door. I, I just, don't know what I happens. just got us some experience points. The uh, statue <laughs> begins to take a step forward, and that is where we are going to call it on the very first session of Band of Brothers, or <laughs> Band of Brothers, Band of Bravos. <laughs> no. I know going to screw that up eventually. Um, we Band of Bravos it. here today. The statue steps forward, and that is where we are going to call it a day. Everybody, I want to thank you all for uh, watching. Before we sign off, I want to toss it around the table and let everybody uh, 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 say thanks and and tell everybody where you can, where they can find you on uh, social media or maybe just the Paizo forums if that's what you got. Uh, so we'll go ahead and toss it around the table. Oh, so yeah, thanks everybody for all the hero points. Uh, again, this is James Jacobs. I'm the uh, creative director and I'm afraid of social media, but you can always find me at the Paizo forums. I've got that Ask James uh, question in the uh, the forums that as long as you don't ask me rules questions, because Jason shakes his magic staff and, and makes the scary face when I try to answer rules questions for people. Thanks you everybody. Got, you guys can go down the order where your tokens are. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, yeah, again, thanks for all them hero points, everybody. Uh, fun being in the chat with you. Uh, I'm Jason Keeley. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Herz Weston, H E R Z W E S T E N. And I think in about an hour, I'm going to be in another <laughs> Twitch stream for No Direction. Mm. So come join us there. Busy, busy, busy. I'm so busy. Who let me do magic? Oh, it's you're, good magic. You're, you're still fired as our healer. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta reapply yeah. at this point. Uh, your magic was right. good. Was your, all right, was let's your medicine kill me that was... we'll, we'll see how this goes. Hi guys, I'm Marissa Lagerval. You can find me on all the social media at Marissa Marie M A R Y S S A M A R I. I am Paizo's web content manager and UI designer. Um, based, if you see the blogs, hi, that's me. I'm the one putting them up. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. And I am Peyton. I am Peyton Smith. I play as Lauren Barnes, the wizard that you've been seeing. All my social media is at Zoran the Bear. Z o r a n t h e b e a r. 
and uh, I'm basically the one running all of the live stream stuff and all the uh, fun little content you've been seeing on YouTube and Twitch. And also, you know, all this will be coming up on YouTube pretty much less than a week uh, from basically when you see it. So if you did miss it, you can either watch it on the VODs on Twitch or you can go to the po official Paizo YouTube channel and catch them all there. And uh, just for some last last announcements and stuff like that, and uh, someone's yelling at me about chat and everything. I, I missed a hero point. Don't worry. I will get her to bam. There you go. So, you know, uh, Squiddish is coming back with Age of Ashes tomorrow. That's on a Saturday, so be sure to stay tuned. He is on the schedule. Be sure to catch the Age of Ashes live stream. Uh, if you want to see even more, we also have tons more streams pretty much throughout the weekend and going to be a lot more throughout the week. And we hope you come back to watch us play more Pathfinder 2nd Edition Brand of Bravos every 2 p.m. Pacific time zone every single week. So with that... And, and, and real quick, uh, before we go, yeah, I'd like to also thank Jason for all of the crazy work that he had to throw together at the last minute here, making yes. this classic old-timey map. And, uh, yes. Applause, applause. Delighted. It's, it's like this weird sort of Pavlovian response I see whenever I see these blue maps. It's must open doors, must so, trigger traps. So uh, just, to, just to wrap things up here, uh, everybody, I'm Jason Bullman. I'm the director of game design at Paizo. Uh, thank you for uh, watching here today. I hope you enjoyed these maps. I may throw some low-res versions up of them on my social media, at least the ones people have seen thus far. Uh, you can find me basically on Twitter, Facebook, everywhere at backslash Jason Bullman, B-U-L-M-A-H-N. Thank you for watching, everybody. We will see you at 2 p.m. next Friday for the continuation of this exciting adventure. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.